think we're live. Well, good that you're watching to the video on demand of our weekly reset stream, which is very special this week. Of course, every Tuesday we go live, but now we got a brand new update for Valhalla, and we're like working on a video as well. So it's kind of, of course, kind of crazy. It went live like two hours after we're starting here. So we already recorded one part of the video. Now we're checking out the rest. I'm also joined by Dennis, who you cannot see, but who is here. I was going to say, I hope <laughs> you can hear me. <laughs> Reveal yourself. Well, there you I are. I am here. <laughs> Uh, and that has a reason, but first I want to quickly check Reda. So, what we will do during this stream is do the usual, check Reda, check uh, the stuff that is added with the new updates, and then go and play the brand new free content that just released, which is the Tombs of the Fallen Part 2. There will be timestamps in the video bar, so if you're only curious about the Tombs or other sort of topics, you can skip right through. And I see people in the chat saying, hey, hey, hey. Good to see everyone here, which is great. I think the tweet went live. I think everything is going well. So I'm gonna check what Reda has. Thanks, Chris, for joining as well. Uh, you saw you know already. What do you have? Saying that it's a 510 for Reda. We got this uh, sunrise bird, the blessed warrior. Ah, oh, I mean, this weapon is really, really nice. So I would not say that it's like really bad. Heavily. Light shines down after a kill. This is actually pretty cool. So that's the, the same weapon uh, or the weapon that came with the pack with the sword where if you like parry you drop down swords from the sky. Still hope that appears at Reda. That would be insane. But still, this I think this axe is worth getting. So um, that is all well and good. I see more people joining in. Dark Clock, good to see you as well. Uh, Nadal Wilson, thank you for joining. Take care. Take care, Reda. Well, Goodbye. you too. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn on my recording here. And then I'm going to look around here because we should have a brand new settlement building. And you already know where it is, right, Dennis? Yeah, it is um, It's pretty pretty much where all the other like new settlement buildings are. I think it's behind the uh, the Valkyrie uh, or the Hilderon building. Yeah. I see it. Like I think, just right I behind it. I think we, we kind of predicted that and some people reached out about that as well. So uh, if that was you, well, thanks for that. We can now finally build it. But then we will see one like sort of roadblock. And uh, yeah. And also the reason why I'm joining uh, today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Vivek says, let's go to the tombs, baby. We will, but I first want to... Quickly go over a Good brand new game. feature, the Rune Forge. This rune is where Hawk works to engrave the effects of perks onto runes. And you already see it, it costs 600 foreign freaking supplies <laughs> that you can get through the river raids. And that's, of course, come on, everyone. They did not even communicate about it. Like, if they. Highly replayable content. <laughs> if you if they like told us Friday when they dropped the freaking. Or, or even like Tuesday last week that you would need 600 foreign supplies for the runeforge i could grind this weekend or but now we have to figure it out. yeah we now we figure it out by just playing so that kind of sucks because i spent all my foreign supplies on the armory which of course cost a ton to get all the loadouts unlocked so luckily dennis you uh had some foreign supplies left over so what we can do is I can go to your party. I'm gonna join right now. Thanks to the power of PlayStation. And now I can inside your party or can you like invite me for the I thought I turned it on, so you should oh, yeah, be yeah. able yeah. to. There we go. So this awesome. is very, very cool. We can now look at Dennis's game. So it's like 720p, I think. But it is like good enough. We we see we are now teleported. To the freaking rune factory. I bought it. No, Dennis bought it. But it's an alternate reality. Yeah, where alternate the rune reality. Factory exists. <laughs> an alternate reality where you did farm the freaking foreign supplies. Uh, so yeah, we are now here. Uh, yeah, let let's show it. I'm curious, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. So like, I just built the thing, and that's all I've done. So everything you're seeing and everything that I'm able to do here, you should be able to do after building the thing as well. There's nothing like upgrades like there was with the armory system. So we can immediately go to forge runes. 
and then you will see that Whoa. you get the entire selection of things, um, armor sets and weapons from the base game. So only the base game. They did communicate that in the patch notes as well, but just to refresh, that means no DLCs, no Helix items, and also no post-launch content from things like the festivals or the mastery challenges. So it's just the base game stuff. Yeah. And then you can select any piece of equipment you want and just say, hey, I'll pay you some money. And then he gives you the rune, which has the perk from that armor set or from that specific weapon. Now, I'd argue, I don't know how you feel about that, but I think that the main game armors aren't really that interesting perk-wise. So these... No, like, no. Some of, some of them are okay, but most of them are just a straight skip for me. <laughs> it's like I mean, they're depth. all... I, I mean, which one is okay then? Uh, everything that has an increase to speed is okay in my book. And critical chance as well. So it's literally, it's like Then Rune, Mentor Rune, Thor's Rune. That's yeah, about but, it. But you could already get them. Like, that's my issue. Like, you could already... Like, now it's, like, an easy way. But if you, like... Mm -hmm. They, they were already, already in the game. So yeah. this is not, like, giving us anything new. It's just giving us an, an easy way to get these runes. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of kind of sad. Because, like, okay, when they said, of course, the, the expansion, I was like, oh, that sucks. The Paladin armor with, of course, the adrenaline per hit. That would have been amazing to get on everything. Because then you yeah, can really sure. make some or cool builds. It. Yeah, the yeah. Armor with yeah. the health on uh, on hit would have been amazing yeah. to get. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, as as well. But okay, those are not included. Sure, but why not the fallen hero armor or the other armors? I don't, I don't get this. This is, yeah. I was like, okay, this is awesome. I think the weapons reveal a bit more uh, sort of things because you can. Pro like, probably get the the effect from Mjolnir, right? And Excalibur. Oh yeah, for, that is that is like the cool thing. There are some weapons that we weren't able to get the perks of. So like the blinding rune from uh, Excalibur is cool to get. The uh, burst rune from Mjolnir. The only thing I actually haven't checked this because I I thought I had all the mythical weapons, but the only one I think that's not on the list here, which does kind of make sense, is Gungnir. Yeah, yeah. Um. Because that's like it, yeah. really weapon specific as well. It would be really weird putting that effect on like a hammer or something. I mean, look, why not? That's it, kind of, that's kind of cool. It would make the hammer really strong. <laughs> it also in, look really in weird. In Odyssey, <laughs> you had um, one of the uh, one of the abilities from the Fate of Atlantis, where also every weapon would like increase their um, their range, which was kind of cool. So then you could like toy around with that. But yeah, it makes sense that 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 we weapon is ex excluded. Um, so yeah, Mjolnir is, is kind of cool to get that on every weapon, and Excalibur, I guess, as well, but what what else? Like, the, the firebomb, I, mean, I some, guess? Um... Some people, um, because you, you do make a good point, it's like, most of these runes were already available, but like, I remember that from the start we've been saying that the, the rune on the, on the Copus dagger, like, to restore a low amount of health in each critical hit, is really good. I've never been able to find a curative perfection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played Valhalla for a long time. So the fact that you're now just able to uh, to get it, because there are a lot more weapon runes. So getting the specific weapon rune you want, I'd say is a lot rarer than with the armor rune. So that's also an added benefit. Because there, there are quite a couple uh, that are fun, like this one. You have uh, some parry skills that are actually really fun, like the poison cloud on parry, ignite weapon on parry, heal on parry. And of course, you're not limited to just shields either. Like, as soon as you make that rune, it is a weapon rune. So you can apply it to any type of weapon that you like. Um, so one of the things I was just playing around with, I can actually just go into my inventory and show you, is, like, t I'm trying to revive the lawnmower build, basically. But it needs to be different, so we're trying new stuff. So you can have what you were saying, the mythic flail with the fire bomb on death then ignite weapon on parry, and then you pick a second flail, and then you draw parry and has a chance to create a small fire yeah, around yeah, yeah. you. So everything you do just ignites something, and that is really fun. Um, but the main point, and I think that's, uh, that's kind of our gripe with the system as well, it's mostly just for making runes more accessible, but yeah. it doesn't really add that many new ones. From the top of my head, the only like really new ones are the Mjolnir rune and the Excalibur, uh, Excalibur rune. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and it, it's like nice, but like in the, and that's what I was like looking up here, push the boundaries of gear customization. No, we're not pushing the boundaries. We're, we're still stuck in the freaking main game. Like this is kind of, we like year two with all the cool new perks. They finally learned from the crappy ones we had at launch, but now this is like a flashback. It's like we're, we're, we're being pulled back to how bad the game was at launch mm -hmm. and we're reminded of that again with this system 
I think this is a huge letdown for me. I was like, really? Oh, cool. I, I can't wait to toy around and, and, and like... Uh, like right now, I already know all the possibilities because they were already possible except for the Mjolnir and Excalibur. Like, I think it's kind of cool to get both Mjolnir and Excalibur on one. Like, you can now have that on one weapon. So that's, I yeah. guess, kind of cool. But yeah, you could also just equip M Mjolnir and Excalibur in the offense. So is that like really, really like that big of a change yeah i i do agree with you it's like it would have been way better if it was the other way around if we had this first in like year one or something and then this we should have been available at launch year like two. but I, yeah. I agree because this is basically odyssey system but worse because we got to pay 450 silver and it is only limited to main game items in odyssey they had this system at the launch that then worked for everything else and that's why I'm kind of like excited for Red because I, I think they will not make the same mistakes. But but Dennis, I think you really explained it well. So thanks a lot for that. Um, you're you're of course, very welcome. You're of course gonna record more of this uh, so we can like talk about it in our update video. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna play the Tombs of the Fallen now. So we're gonna uh, yeah go back to my timeline. And bam, we're back <laughs> in my timeline. So thanks, Amazing. Dennis. Good luck, Good with, luck with the, the rest of the stream. Thanks, Chat. Bye. Bye. Ah. I don't. I don't even want to buy this. I don't need it. Uh, I. I do. I, I will grind for it. But still, this is such a letdown. I see some people talk about the Thanos pack. It's out. With the reskin, uh, bird and dragon. This was leaked like a few months ago, so we're, like this, now the only like pack that we know about that has not been leaked or that has not released is Iron Man, so that's probably coming after this. Uh, so pretty pretty wild items here, of course. Let's uh, showcase it here. Now, full disclosure: while I do buy a lot of the packs myself, these Helix credits are from Ubisoft, so I got them for free. Um, so let's see. I think uh, we should get the notification here. Like, see the, the freaking gauntlet. <laughs> it's so obvious. It's so obvious. And of course, and I'm like kind of awaiting because um, uh, Game of Little Games is like always on top of uh, all the... Um, it's always on top of all the new items that are added and stuff like that. So, I'm waiting for his, like, DMs on Twitter to, to reveal the next set that is uh, leaked. Because I'm sure we will get something new. I'm gonna, like, uh, fully show everything. Uh, let's uh, use these weapons as well. Increase crit chance when the weapon is ignited. And this one has, like, a poison effect. Like, personally, I think the Iron Man armor is, like, way, way more interesting. Oh, they're, of course, like, preparing the festival, which goes live on October 20th. Yes, Joyce, it's finally out. And, yeah, you're seeing it already. It changes, like, over time. Like, every 10 seconds, you have, like, a new effect. And the eyes and the color changes, which is kind of cool. And let's do it again. Boom. Now we have poison on our weapons. But, like, it's a really, really fun idea, but you can't, like, really, like, build on this because, and now you have, like, I think, increased speed or attack or something. So every 10 seconds, you basically have a different buff, which I think is kind of cool and how, how it, like, changes your armor as well. Like, now I fire all my weapons without using the effect. But, yeah, I have to wait, like, 30 seconds to get the fire again. So it's not, like, ideal or anything. Um, let's, uh, no new game plus yet, no Odin's beard, sadly not. Can you snap people into dust? I wish. Like, it, like, that's what I like about the Iron Man armor. Like, right here, it's just like the infinity gauntlets that look really cool and they have the effect a bit. Like, like you have these, these sort of crystals here. So that's kind of awesome. But um, you don't have, like, a snap ability. That would, of course, be awesome. While with the Iron Man armor, which we can quickly show. You, of course, have the Uni Beam. 
So yeah, that armor is coming soon. Did I? I think I... Which I... I prefer. But I do, I do like the, the style, I think. Using it like this is really cool. And as Gamerlil Games in his video also showed. Unequipping the hat might actually be the best way to go. Like, I'm not sure about the helmet. But I think this actually looks really, really awesome. So yeah, we're gonna rock like this. Um, one quick reminder that Reda is selling this weapon. Let me check where I can find it. Uh, this one. Which is like really, really nice. I'm not sure if it works on the uh, dummies here. Yeah. So you have this freaking light appear. Thanks to that axe that Red Eye is selling right now. Like, I would get it. 120 Opal. It has, of course, has a cooldown. But yeah, that's a pretty cool effect. So yeah, I think it's time for the Tombs of the Fallen. I'm gonna, like, look at the chat real quick. And then, uh, like, then it's Tombs time. Uh, I'm, I'm not showing the mount and the bird. It's like, they are boring. Any news about the Ezio Revelations outfit? Sadly not. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, do I have to, like, return to the freaking... Do I have to just go to one of the tombs? Because I did see the, the notification. Should we just go to the to the tomb that is, like, close by to Ravenstorp? Like, over here? Maybe this, like, reveals something that we can, like, kind of do. I'm still recording, right? Okay. Let's go. There's no quest line. You just go to them. Okay. Gutau. So I should go to the new ones. I think I because I think we're gonna go uh, to these to the to the uh, that one first because I think it's like uh, I also said in my assassin raptor video where we probably have to like finish the other two probably by going back to the tomb to this tomb we see the the spots on the map which we kind of already know of course um, and then we complete those then we likely return to this one to uh, do the final secret tomb. Which is uh, kind of cool. When is New Game Plus coming? AK Gaming, uh, gaming Player asks. Well, they always said that um, it was coming at the end of the life cycle. So, personally, like, it's not the end of the life cycle yet. And the fact that there's no quest line for this is super interesting. So, of course, if you've never played the Tombs of the Fallen, you gotta go here first. There is actually, like, a... Uh, it's like over here on the map. There is actually like a um, a like sort of cutscene that you can trigger at the shipyard, so you can do that. Otherwise, if you just go here, you can unlock this and then see all the tombs. And I would not be surprised actually if you can do them in any order. So we could only like do the first three tombs because they were available. But I would not be surprised if you like like started the tombs of the fallen questline right now. You can probably do all of them, which is kind of interesting. Any new armor from the tombs? Pete asks. No, it's the same Fallen Hero armor set, but we do get two new weapons from the tombs. Especially the sickle looks really, really cool. So yeah, there we go. We see the um, we see the two uh, extra runes that have appeared, and we of course already completed the other ones, so that's why they are gone. So we should go over here, which in Wessex. And over here in Hamptonshire. So so let's go there. And uh, while, while I'm getting like some crazy red effects. Okay. Let's uh, let's do it. So it's like over here I think. When does the tomb become available? I just started. Well Chris. You just have to go to your settlement. So it's actually really early on. Like available. And I think like getting the fallen hero armor set early on. That's actually kind of good. So I would argue that it's actually really nice to uh, to go. I think it's like over here right. I think it's like there. I forgot to turn on my uni bear. So now we're stuck with this, with this one. <laughs> Using this one for a few weeks now. Yeah, we don't know, Pedro. We don't know about the artifacts yet. Uh. 
Hey, Godrek, what kind of uh, playtime are we looking at with all the content right now? Like, I, I'm, of course, like, as you saw also on the map, I still have, like, some... Like, I don't want... Like, I'm still planning to do, like, a sort of let's get the platinum stream. But what I've actually been doing, like, during these weekly reset streams is, like, kind of getting some... Um, yeah, getting some, like, stuff on the map done. I prefer that over, like, doing that myself. But I'm, like, looking at 500 hours right now. My, my save says 441, but I've been save skipping a bit. I, I, I was able to play the game a couple of times before launch, so that would be my count. But I think you can probably do everything. Oh, no, I'm not going to make this. Okay. Thanks for the sacrifice. <laughs> I think the freaking rune is over here somewhere, right? There we go. Can, of course, see it. Thanks to... Is it a different location than than we saw? I think I think it's the... It's over here. Let's get there. DGG. No, I, I'm like looking at both of them, but... Uh, that is the tennis set, Frank White. They finally launched it. I'm not rocking the helmet, though. I think I preferred it like this. Okay, there we go. First tomb. There are three. So it's gonna be a fun ride, I think. Let's see which one this is. Ooh. Nice. What? Oh, we don't have it on the map yet. Can I, like, after... Yeah, I think I now have it on the map. Yeah, there we go. So you can, like, properly show it now as well. So yeah, this is the first tomb. And there should also be so one around here, I think. Around the mastery challenge. Uh. But yeah, like, a lot of people that... Like, started, I think, with the PS Plus extra sort of release, I would imagine. I'm sure it will come to Game Pass at some point, maybe this year as well. So that... I mean... I mean... Okay, I need more adrenaline. Otherwise, you could skip this. I'm kinda curious. What if we skip it? Okay, we're gonna do it the legit way. Because there's, of course, a trick to uh, break bar doors. Let's dive. Well, this does the trick as well. Let's uh, get some silver. You're gonna need it for the rune factory. Which is f 450 silver. Okay, that was easy enough. Easy enough. Did not have to skip that. I got this last Tuesday, damn. Maybe switch to female Eivor for some story reasons, maybe? I don't see how that's gonna impact this, but... I think Joyce will be playing female Eivor. I bought the Ultimate Edition on PS4. Yeah, it's of course pretty cheap now as well. Or actually there have been a lot of sales. Oh, damn, we gotta be careful here. Okay, we can now open this. Okay, so this is the underwater tomb that they already teased in images. Okay, we got a cutscene. So, so far seems pretty similar, but now underwater. <laughs> DBC, uh, 
Are you excited for Mirage? And what are you hoping to happen in Mirage? Like any new features or new weapon types? We already know that in terms of weapon types, it will just be the... The sword, the dagger, and the hidden blade. So, um, I'm just mostly curious to see how... Like, Basim will feel in terms of combat. Because the combat will be similar to Valhalla, Origins, and Odyssey. But uh, he will, of course, have, like, a different moveset, different finishers. I am just overall curious, and I asked uh, Jean-Luc Salade, our director, did this, this as well. If you can brute force the game, like, what if you're, like, a really veteran Valhalla player, you, you, you know when to dodge, which is not that hard. Um, are you able to just, like, kill everyone and... Which was, of course, like, totally possible in the older games as well. But at one point, you would be kind of easily overwhelmed. And I'm curious if that's the case in Mirage as well. Or if you can just, by parrying at the right time, dodging. Maybe it's, like, a little easier. But they said you really have to use all the tools, etc. So, we have to wait and see how that shakes out. Okay, let's see. Where should we go? I think I should go over here. What? That actually worked. <laughs> okay, let's uh, follow this. What what trick for the bar doors? It's the uh, it's using the uh, I think it's like the the wrong side. But I did like open it. I think. Oh damn. That does look painful. It's using the incendiary powder trap to uh, open the lock. Okay, it's now stuck, and now we can. The traps in the first, like, tombs of the fallen never really. Okay, now it's like floating. Now I can like use it to... Uh... They never really did any damage. So I'm curious if that's the case here too. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. And he asks, is this the, is this the final update? Um, oh wow, I, I'm, you see? You see? Like I'm like I am getting hit by the trap here, but it it like doesn't do any damage. Only when I like swim towards it. And even then, like it's like a damage over time. No, this is not the final update. We at least know that there will be the final chapter for Avor's story. Uh which uh looks pretty big. It's just like a, another story arc, which is kinda exciting. It, it takes place after the after the main story it seems so all the uh, post launch content is very easily accessible like for example what you're watching here the tombs of the fallen you can already do it after doing the um, after building your settlement which like really early on in the game after you get to England probably or maybe after getting to England and then uh, doing at least one story arc because that's when Reda of course also uh, appears was that it? Was that it? Was it only for the freaking chest with some iron ore and stuff? I hope not. No, okay, that's like just a separate thing. Okay. So we have to move this. Let's. Oh, there's like a lever there. So yeah, we have that, and I still hope that we get the. Um, the new game plus like I would be shocked actually if we don't get it and and that's also interesting like as you see right here do we have to put it right there somewhere or do we have to go all the way back we have to use this ball Let's drop it. Like, we also had leaks for a Rolo quest line, which looked, which sounded really, really cool. And that was kind of like... Uh, which kind of sounded like an Origins crossover. 
But we, like Ubisoft said, the Origins crossover is not in development or not coming at least soon. So that's kind of weird. Like, there, there are still some loose ends. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is totally not the final update. Hey, Lucier, good to see you. Yeah, there are more trophies if you complete all the tombs. I really want to see why Eivor is buried in the US. Yeah, me too, uh, Smug. Okay, so let's uh, see. We have... I'm going to, like, dive down. See if there's, like, something on the ground that I can maybe destroy or use. Because that seems to be the solution in this part of the of the puzzle. But I'm not really seeing it. I'm, by the way, turning on my blower here so I can get some... It's fine. Okay. For the immersive experience. I think we have to, like, carry the ball to... Maybe throw it over the... Um, not sure if we... Okay, come on. Can I not, like, jump here because the ball's over there? I hope not. Oh, wow. Did I, like, ruin it for myself? Okay, there we go. So yeah, we have to carry this. What moveset do you think Basim will have? Like, they talked about for Mirage that he will have, like, a very... I think it will be very, like, swift. Like, very fast. But I also think he will, like, die really, really fast. So that he can only take a few hits. Okay, so what should we do? Like, I can... Okay, that's not what what I should do. Is there a festival this update? Hey, uh, Gemini God Gaming, yes. Uh, but it only goes live on October 20th. So, we have to wait a bit because it's a Halloween festival. So, I have to do something, but... Maybe someone else knows. Hey, Mr. Divine Rose. Everything is going well here. You have to go below with that thing. Okay, so dive down. I'm just like... Throw it in the water. Or just like use it like this. You're gonna... Lidemran, I hope I pronounced that right, but... Okay, I think I just lost it. <laughs> I just threw it in a... I did like get it so you can like throw it down in the water but I don't think that that that's what's supposed to happen I think I have to leave this area I think I, I, I got everything here so let's go back we are going to reset the object you are the ball goes on the wooden platform with the ropes hanging from it I think I'm sure it was in the previous DLC Oh, so we have to put the ball there so it goes down and then we can like, enter. Or do you mean the uh, another wooden platform? This one? Maybe you should shoot it or something. That That's usually a good... Uh, oh, we can like... Ah, there is something over there, but I don't think I can reach it. Maybe if you put more on it. I, I think I only have one because uh, like if I like do it like this, the ball resets. So it, it, it goes away. You need to balance both of them at the same position. To do that, you have to go below. So go swim down. Ah, oh yeah. I think I just need to like carry the ball. Ah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Akron. 
A. Creon. I hope I pronounced it right. Wasn't that hard. So, I, I really think that the, the solution for this one will be... Uh, it would appear that the reverse tribal leader laid rest here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And then it will go down and... Like, I need to carry the ball to the other side here. And by... Huh? Yeah, there we go. Now we have a pathway. Why are you on the map for this tomb? Where are you on the map for this tomb? It's over here. If you go to the first tomb again, like the one we opened for the when starting this activity a year ago, it's been a year actually, which is kind of crazy. Okay, we have to like make sure that's go that goes down to carry the ball. Those platforms could help me cross. I can move them. Uh, okay, we see something right here. There we go. I think I just unlocked it, so if I like stand here, I can probably jump on it. And do I have to like hit it again, or will it just at one point like go up again? Or can I like do it like this now? I think there's a timer on it. I think I can just throw the ball. Yeah. You always see it when he has when it has like a magical sort of way of going going <laughs> over sort of things, then you know, okay, this is intended. That's good. Okay, I think we got the first one. Thanks everyone for the tips as well. Take it to the treasure room. We're gonna do that now, Doom G. So let's uh, go to the other side here. I think we got multiple. Uh, so there's another one over here. I think if we just go... It's probably blocked from the other side. Okay. So I think if we follow this, we should be fine. And yeah, dive down is gonna be the tactic. How do you get the electric sparkles on your arm? Uh, it's uh, the new Helix set that just released. It's the Tannel set where you basically have the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have the have these uh, visual effects. And they also give you, give you a certain buff. So every 10 seconds you get a different buff. Which is not like very convenient, but is at least like really cool visual looking. So you can like transmog it. I'm not sure. I don't think if you transmog it, you have the visual effect. I do think you have to actually use this. Gonna like hit this. I have to be careful of though, of course, that I'm like not. Now oh, we got another treasure. I'm mainly waiting for the Ezio Revelations outfit in New Game Plus. Like. I, I I am curious though like I on one end I won new game plus because like I really waited to replay the game like I'm I don't want to like I'm just scared that even if I have like a manual save that at one point like my save gets lost or something because I started a new game again the traps don't hit you like they don't do any damage so don't worry about them okay we're gonna go up here I think we have to probably dive down like that seems to be have to do here but yeah I'm also of the mind that like I don't want like I'm not like a fan of every story arc in the game so I'm not sure if I want to like re replay all of them I I'm just curious if they're like giving us a way to just replay one 
which would be uh, nice. Did I already go here? So we have like a. Yeah, I think I already like broke that, so I can. Yeah, this is where we found the chest. Okay, okay, okay. So. I kind of miss that Neptune spear from Odyssey where we had like unlimited uh, underwater breeding. But still, Avor can hold his own. I do think I have to go back. Like, I, I would love it if... Because I'm like curious what they will do with the wealth chest. Like one of the... Although I do think that the system could have been way cooler if they actually had meaningful weapons. Like, if you did not have... Like, if you found a new weapon type for the first time, that was, like, the most exciting thing. So, I'm curious, like, what will happen with the wealth chest in New Game Plus? Will they already be opened? Like, in a perfect world, I would love a new fender, like a New Game Plus exclusive fender, which a lot of games are doing. And then every time you open a wealth chest that you've already opened in your first playthrough, that you get like a, a token or something. And then at every, or in your settlement, there's like a new fender. And then from those tokens that you earn by completing main story missions, uh, getting wealth chests, killing order members, etc, etc. You actually, um, yeah, you actually can buy these brand new items that we could not get access to before. Or, I prefer if they would like... Or actually, like, that would be cool, but I would also like it if they just, like, have a New Game Plus tier. A, a rarity. So that you can, like, only upgrade the New Game Plus all your items to a new rarity. So they have, like, an extra major rune slot. Like, I think that would, like, really change the gameplay up in interesting ways. So we're gonna kind of figuring out what I am supposed to do here. Okay, we can go here. That seems interesting. But... Is there more to this, though? Or were, was it just uh, the loot? Seems like... I already broke this one. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm just gonna, like, get some air and then try it again. Behind the trap! Stand on the wooden platform. Mike Hazards, how is he missing that? Yeah. Good question. I think because I'm talking at the same time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it. I'm not gonna miss it this time. There we go. I did miss that. What are you hoping the assassinations are gonna look like in Mirage? I hope we get some... Uh, can I like... Yeah! Goodbye to you, traps. I hope that they, the, the black, box, black box missions are actually like more... Like diverse because we're kind of I kind of had a sour taste in my mouth from Siege of Paris. I think the first one was really interesting in Siege of Paris, but after that they felt re very linear. Like I, I, for some of the the sort of uh, black box missions, it really felt like there was only one path or maybe like two ways to do one thing and then all the other things were kind of the same. Okay, we are we are able to drop this. So I think I have to run fast and get to the other side. Then I should be able to make it, I think. There we go. We can get a ball. Are you excited for Code Red or Mirage? Me personally, I wanted something other than Japan because we have Ghost, but still excited. The Hex A1 looks interesting. I I'm also like, a lot of people are like, yeah, we there are already Ghost is there, etc, etc. And that's true, but you have to remember that a lot of people are playing on Xbox uh, as well, and on PC, and they never are able to play Ghost. Although, I'm sure that the first game will come to PC at some point. 
But yeah, then still, like, when the second one gets announced, Codename Red will probably be the only, like... Although I still think that Ghost 2 could launch in 2024 as well, which is gonna be kind of crazy. And, and not ideal. Uh, maybe Ghost 2 is like 2025. Because all these Sony games usually take like five years. The big open world titles. But yeah, I personally am more, more looking forward to Codename Red. I also think that, like Mirage, I think you're gonna finish that in a weekend. If you like uh, really blaze through it. And, and it's also like a one and done game, which is fine. Oh wow, what did I do? Did they troll me? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. Let's rethink what we're doing here. So I can push this and then I open this, but I've already been here. So yeah, Codename Red is more exciting because it also is full next gen. Like Mirage is still PS4, Xbox One, which I think makes sense because it's mostly based by uh, with the, uh, on the Valhalla engine. And feels like there's like a crack in the wall that we can open, but maybe I can like fully like have this one go down. Let's see where that leads us. Okay, it doesn't go down that far. Let's see if we can like swim here. Okay, I think we were on the wrong uh, on the right track. Should I get a PS5 or PS4? I've only played Xbox. Like I mean, you, you're probably fine with an Xbox. It really, if you like the PlayStation exclusive, like, I personally cannot live without No Rise nor God of War. Like, I can't wait for God of War. I, I don't want to, to skip them. Can we, like, push this one, like... Ah. Ah. And now I have to grab the thing as well. But yeah, like if you are in the in like the if you want to get like a, P a PlayStation, totally get a PS5 because right now there's still games coming for PS5, PS4, but that's going to end next year. Like a lot of the games that are still coming to PS4 have been like significantly delayed. Okay, this feels like a dead end. If you drop uh, that one, it's going to go higher than the others. That will help you jump to higher places. Ah, and that's one, of course, over there. Now we get. Now we're somewhere. This is probably it, right? Oop. Okay, that's also like Thanks for all the thanks for all the tips, man. Whoopa. So that's way higher, but I should probably like push it so I can like use that to climb on. So I'm going to push it like this. I do miss kind of a music or something. Like it's uh It's very quiet in here. Hello? This part is tricky. Am I stuck? Oh, there's a key. Oh, wow. I have to like... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I can like go on this. Ah, there we go. That will... Okay, I think I got it. Or is there like something I'm still missing? The key is over there, probably. I think I can now do it like this. Then... Ah, no! Okay, I have to... I, I think I have to like... 
drop this. Then we're gonna do it like this. Get the key. And then probably get some counterway in here. Yeah, there we go. I'm still waiting for my AC Volta to update. Ah, oh, damn. It, it was only like one point. Uh, oh, I think it's actually... Yeah, yeah, because we can, of course, use that to climb higher. It was only like 1.6 gigs on PS5 versus 10 gigs on Xbox, which is kind of crazy. Okay, okay, that's, I think, where the tricky part comes in. Because, like, that's not good. Uh, did I already, like, kind of... Okay, now it goes up. So, okay, I have to, like, do it like this. Hop, and then go. Okay, I, oh, I have to, like, I think I'm gonna, like, uh, throw the ball. But I have to go... Do I have to go there? Let's uh, investigate. Music could have been bucked out. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? I don't think I even have to go here. There's like a spot I can... Okay, I cannot climb on that. Let's just figure out where I need to go before we... I think it's maybe over there. So yeah, I think I have to actually, from this side, go to the other side. So do it like this. Oh, we can actually do it like this as well. And then probably go up there. Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna throw the ball. I, I, I don't think I need the ball. It's stable now. Go to the first place you came, through the door. You're, no, you're not gonna go to the top from that side. PC, my man. Okay, so I'm going through this side right here. AC Hex will be supernatural. Fence while Jade and Red will be for the OG fence. That's not correct. Uh, unless you think the OG fence are the RPG fence. So I think I'm gonna like throw the ball. Let's see if there's like a, a something helping me if I throw it there. No, okay. That that basically means that I don't should not throw it there. The climbing in Valhalla could be fixed a little bit, in my opinion. Like, and that's also what's very interesting and excited about Mirage, that they're gonna tweak that a bit. Okay. I'm gonna just leave this here. Let's see where this leads me. Because I probably have to do it like this, right? I mean, I can probably climb up. Just here. Let's see. So this is where we... So we have to like really go back. You have to throw there, but you need to push first one to the left. We got the key, which gave us the counterway. Take the orb, okay. What music theme did you prefer, Odyssey's or Valhalla's? I, I prefer Odyssey, because that never really got old. I think I have to just throw it, get it there. I mean... Up. 
So now we got the orb over here. Moving the counterweight, can I like put it on here? No, I have to like move it here. And now we can go higher. There we go. Ah, yes, thanks. We didn't have to shoot anything, but removing the counterweight, that was the missing point. So I think we got two for two now? Or is it like something we're still missing? When do you think Far Cry Expansion or Game of the Year Edition will be announced? So for people that are not familiar, very interesting. I was kind of like losing hope for the vo for the Voss prediction. Um, but yeah, they like out of nowhere, um, like a, basically the PlayStation game size, but for for Xbox. Hello? Okay, we're still missing one, I think. Probably by swimming down here. Yeah, I think it's this way. They, uh, they suddenly, like, out of nowhere in the Xbox database, the, ex the, um, the Xbox Far Cry 6 Game of the Year Edition, now you could, of course, argue if the game is worth the game of the year mention, but like that edition released or like leaked, which includes the season pass, the uh, ultimate edition, but also an expansion. So a completely new expansion for the game. I think there's like a, another way, or like maybe the exit, and this is probably the exit too. Okay. Yeah. And like, like, Far Cry Three, uh, ten year anniversary is at the end of uh, of this year, which is very interesting. I think I have to like use the rope maybe to... Climb up here. And then... We all see a lift there, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. So yeah, in short, there might be like still a Far Cry 6 expansion coming. And maybe this year, like the Far Cry 3 released in November uh, 29th, 2012. And um, like, that would of course be the perfect 10 year anniversary to have like a fast expansion in Far Cry. Hey Ronald, good to see you as always. And he, of course, awakens when... Will there be any additional content for Far Cry 6? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, they are talking about the collect edition... Or the the season pass, which, of course, already released. All the, the, the three villain roguelite uh, modes. Then, they said the ultimate edition and an expansion. Which also, I think, had, their, had the name leaked. Like, Lost Between Worlds or something. So, it's all very interesting. I, I think it's kind of weird, though, that if it's, like coming up like it leaked right now so they're preparing something why not like have it in the ubisoft fort like unless it's like a playstation deal or something or like microsoft has a show where they want to announce that so it's all pretty interesting so yeah i i i'm gonna like go i think down here let's see or is this like how i entered this area i'm always afraid that i then try and go back you need to swim below to get there, dude. My game isn't letting me do that. So yeah, so I have to swim. Jet Kuno says, great collaboration with Luke Stevens. It was fun seeing you guys together. Yeah, he reached out to me. He was like, hey, we got this Ubisoft news. Wanna 
discuss it with me. So if you haven't watched that video yet, it's on Luke Stevens' channel. 40 minutes <laughs> uh, of us uh, kind of discussing that recent news. And they're also discussed like what's next for Far Cry because they have like huge plans. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this area. It's safe to say Mirage gameplay will be at the Game Awards. I, I don't think it's safe to say because Ubisoft is kind of hit or miss with the Game Awards. I, I would love it though. But I'm not like 100% sure that we will see it. Okay, so we have something that has to be over here as well. So let's see if we can like kind of find where that is. That is a bar door. I'm like kind of hyped for the volcano too, which should be after the one after this. So yeah, we can, I think, g enter here. Let's do that. Mr. Uh, Ioso, and I hope I pronounced it right, asks, what are your thoughts on AC Jade? Uh, but the systems it's going to be available for. Like, it's going to be iOS, Android, but I do think that um, because, of course, um, Diablo Immortal showed that as well, that these games can have like a... They can have like a... Um, sort of place on PC as well. So I would not rule out a PC release for Jade 2, but it's 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 mostly like um it is mostly for the uh, mobile audience. I think it's interesting that they're saying that it's a Okay, so we have to go over here. Can I like already hit this or is it blocking? I think it's blocked. I think it's interesting that they're saying that it's an action adventure game because to me it really looked like uh, it looked like an Odyssey type game and I think for mobile having the RPG as a screen makes more sense because they're like it adds like way more like gameplay um. ah haha very very sneaky but yeah I already like used the jar so I don't think this was like can I like even yeah you can but yeah we already we already did that and that opened this is there more to this? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use it for that. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> okay, there's another one. I'm gonna, like, save my adrenaline for, like, a an harder... Like, it will maybe come in handy later on. So, yeah, I think Jade will be, like... Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Aver. All under. Damn. Oh, no. Did I... Okay, I might need to uh, use my adrenaline. Oh, there it is. There it is. Like, that you can create your own character. It's, of course, going to be interesting. Like, exploring ancient China will be fun. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious about it. It's totally, like, the least... Imp like, I'm, like, of all the four or five games they announced, it's totally, like, on the... Yeah, it's, like, the, the lowest on the list. But I still think it could be, uh, could be a ton of fun. And I do think it might launch like even before Red, so or at least like soft launch because that's of course how all these uh, things go. Ronald, did I like answer your question um, regarding the Far Cry 6 thing? Like I personally think, oh wow, we have to throw a freaking uh, thing here as well. Like I personally think the the extra content will be the far the Foss DLC, so that it instead of a brand new game is really Far Cry 6 DLC that. Maybe they're trying the, um, maybe they're gonna try the Dawn of Ragnarok approach. That that's kind of what it feels like. It kind of feels like a Dawn of Ragnarok type expansion, for uh, for Far Cry, which is interesting. Uh, okay, gonna do it like this. I don't think I can like use. Oh no, it's always like that. Okay. Uh, let, let's remove a game. I think I can like. I did delete a lot of stuff beforehand, but not enough then. Watch Dogs Legion. <laughs> uh, it's like mostly like the media gallery. Okay, we got that. Uh, Saints Row. I'm sorry, Saints Row. You gotta go. I think I also like already uploaded a lot of this. So. The 
full playthrough. Like I, I, I am mostly curious about multiplayer for from all the things they announced, like Assassin's Creed Invic Invictus we, we discussed. Because, like, I kind of think that, that I know what we can expect from Red. Like, Hexay I'm curious about as well. But I'm just mostly curious about... Okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, how they will, like, implement multiplayer in a game right now. Like, and what type of game will it be? Will it, like, be like Unity? Will it be PvP? Like, they say they're trying to do something completely new. So that's gonna be interesting. Where did I uh, have to uh, use the... I think I like have to swim down here, right? And that's where we had to use the jar. So I think we're gonna cheat for this one. Does it work though? Or will my explosion not work here? So like a jar close by here. That would be nice. When do you think Assassin's Creed Invictus will be announced and released? Like I think it's still really far away though. Like if I had to have a uh, guess like a, a release um, window for all these for, for all these games. I think it's gonna be like Mirage. Uh, the rumor is now that it, that that is going to be uh, like mid 2023, so basically the summer or spring. Okay, we're gonna try it. Ah, 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 ah. So yeah, go in with adrenaline bars. You're gonna need it. It's gonna save you some time. And then red at the end of 2024. Ah, uh, there we got the key. That's nice. Um, then I think we will get... Um, I think before Red releases in 2024, I think we will get Jade in soft launch. So that in some regions, people can already play it and we will get a lot of gameplay and stuff like that. But I think it will probably r properly release in 2024 at the earliest. And then... Hexay is probably the end of 2026. Or maybe they're doing like a mid-2026 release. I don't know. But it, 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 seemingly it, it was seemingly planned for 2025. But they're really taking their time. Like, that game has been in development for a year already. And when it comes out in 2026, it will be like five, five plus years. Which is insane for an Assassin's Creed game. So that bodes well. Uh, of course, Red was al is also... Like, Red will be in development for almost four years when it launches. A little less. But, um... But Quebec, like, they made freaking Immortals in two years. With, like, a lot of setbacks because it was first Gods and Monsters and stuff like that. Can I, like, move it? And, uh, I think the multiplayer will be 2025 at the earliest. Like, uh, I think, I think they gotta, like, have Red out first. And then Red will be its own thing. It will be like Odyssey, it will be like Valhalla, but it will probably have a post-launch for, I think, three years. And then after three years, we will not have anything RPG to play. But, um... Because I have to, like... Uh, yeah. I have to, like, use something to push this down so I can, like, move that. But yeah, we know there's like a, a bar door, I think, on top here as well. So we're gonna try and use that. Okay, there we have our answer already. That's great. Ronald is asking, five US dollars. Thanks a lot for your support as always, man. Um, I think the FOSS DLC for Far Cry will be like... Um, I think it will, will be like separate like i don't think we will play danny i'm not sure if they will like even play a role in this in this content so i, I really don't uh, maybe he has like an amigo i don't know but uh i think it will be i don't think it will just be like new new stuff i think it will just be like a cool separate linear story probably although i hope i'm wrong like i would love i i personally like, I would love to have a fast story, but I, I would not mind, like, a completely new island to explore with Danny. Like, that would be awesome as well, I think. What? Okay. I think this is the final sort of thing for this one. And then uh, we can almost move on.
There we go. Look at this crazy. Again. Awesome. <laughs> I really love the Stranger Things DLC they put in Far Cry 6. Yeah, that was really insane, right? Like, that really showed to me, like, they can they, they can do it. And it really... Like, Stranger Things has such a cool, like, and unique sort of atmosphere. And they really nailed that. So, yeah. I, more of that, I would be down for it, too. But they've been teasing Foss. So, I think he will have to do with the DLC. And that it's a Far Cry 6 expansion, I think, is also interesting. Like, Far Cry 5, of course, sold like crazy. But maybe they saw with New Dawn that people were like, this is basically a DLC, but you're sell selling it as a separate game, and it maybe did not work out for them. So maybe that's why they're trying to go for his expansion instead. And then also still push Far Cry 6. Because Far Cry 6 totally did not sell as well as they had hoped. Hey, we got the end. Nice. I hope we get the sickle already. That would be cool. The Romans have named me Togodomnus the Terrible. Catubolani call me King. We watched the Romans come. First with treaties and trade. Then with violence. And a hunger for conquest. Many were blinded by the Empire's gold. But my brother Caraticus and I saw their true face. Taught them to fear us. <laughs> Give it to me, sickle or X mastery point. Ah, the X Togo Domnus X. Increased attack when equipped. Bonus is tripled when in combat against a single enemy. No, that's not a cool perk. But it are, the weapon is cool, though. Let's uh, equip it. We're going to also be switching to the Fallen Hero set. So we're in... We're in proper style. Where is it? There you are. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's the first tomb completed. Uh, I think I can... L let's see if there's like... There should be like a, maybe an artifact here as well. Because we of course could find these special artifacts. I think this is like where we... Yeah, this is like the entrance. Like we could find special artifacts as well. So I'm, I'm gonna like look around here. Maybe we find like one. Because we still don't know what they are for. But maybe it's like when we exit. We have to maybe dive down here somewhere and then... I'm gonna look around. Look around, see if we can find something. Uh, I see some fish. Which is... Uh, uh, there is something here, yeah, yeah. I think it's over there. Yeah. I think we got a new artifact. Okay, I'm gonna... For the video, I'm gonna make it as easy as possible for people. So, what I'm gonna do... What the heck? We finally hear some audio, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna hopefully be able to climb up here again. Yeah, we are. So then I'm gonna be like... Okay. Ronald, once again with the donation. Uh, I'm gonna like touch on that in a moment. So, from the entrance right here. Uh, or actually... Like from the entrance, which right here. So this is how you enter the tomb. If you like go like this, this is where you see the tomb. Then we go to the right. Then we go down, down, down. Then we immediately swim to the left. And then bam, we see the artifact.
really weird sound. Okay, let's grab it. What brings these words to me? Nice. Okay, three more, two more to go. Let me check one thing real quick to see where the um, uh, thing is that squeed. Ho, 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 that was my voice. Not sure if you heard that. I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's over here. Okay. It should be around here somewhere. This is where we should go. So let's do that. So what Rona was saying, he also, if I ever did get at a new Amigo section known as Tank Amigo, like Cheeseburger, Sky Dagger, Blood Thing, I would like a risk and reward kind of thing. While powerful, they would attract more enemies. I, I, I still think that they may be like... I like the Amigos, I mean, I think they are just a cool feature, but the problem with Far Cry 6 was that they really put the emphasis on those, while they were not new anymore, like we saw them in both Far Cry 5 and New Dawn. So, I think they should have just, like, have them as, like, an option and not, like, see freaking chorizo in every commercial. But, uh, yeah, of course, animals sell, I get that, but... They didn't do anything new with them, like, I think what you're, like, kind of describing makes a lot of sense uh, and I still think like adding cheeseburger would be awesome but uh, or the Horatio the boar that would be cool too but yeah I, I don't know caves contain mysteries upon mysteries. I, I don't know like if it's a fast DLC I don't know if you will like run around with an animal but maybe I would I would love to be wrong this is gonna be a looker. This is gonna be a really cool looking tomb. It's the lava tomb. We can go. I think this is like the yeah, from the, other side. the exit. Okay, let's go down, down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Welcome to Muspelheim. Oh no. Okay. Always choose the dog amigo. Yeah. And they even had two. They had boom, boom, and chorizo. Oh my god. This looks awesome. I'm, I'm already kind of over the underwater stuff. So bring me... Bring the heat. Literally. How do you start the tombs part 2? Well, Kenny, it's very easy. So for people who are just watching real quick. I'm gonna show it. So, it's really easy. If you um, if you've never done the tombs before, go to this one over here on the map. If you like, go here close by. You will actually see some people. If you talk to them, they will have a cutscene. But even if you use like your raven, you will see like a sort of vortex here. Go here, then you will see a map with all the five locations um, for tombs. The brand new ones, if you want to do them, are right here. So it's one over here, and it's the one over here. So these are the two brand new ones. So, yeah. They're a little further into the game. Like, even if you're, like, new. Like, you can already play this very early on. Again, the axe that you got, not that great. I hope the sickle has, like, a cooler item. I'm sure we will get the sickle here. Because it had kind of the molten lava sort of look. Um, but, yeah. Maybe there's like a cool Isu reward as well, now that I think of it, because the final tomb should be like Isu tomb. Whoop ba doo! Sorry for that sound. Not to mention Bloodfang is the saber is safe to get. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean they totally used a lot of uh, freaking assets from uh, peaches from Far Cry 5 on that creature. But it did have some I think new uh, new moves as well. Okay. We're gonna go here. Okay, that's already interesting. We can already... Oh, wait, that's nice. Just got here. What's new, Jor? Hey, Desla. Appreciate you joining. 
uh, and supporting. Um, so yeah, what, what I'm doing right here is of course the Tombs of the Fallen, which the uh, second part just ta talked about the, uh, the, the where you can like find the tombs. Just go to the new tombs and you can immediately start and play the the puzzles. Oh, did I skip it? No! Yeah, but I skipped it. <laughs> I'm what's wrong with the with the TikTok generation. I have no patience. Okay, I think we can like go up here. I I'm loving the look of this one. Okay, so this is like the the the, the entrance. Let's look around. Looks awesome. Okay. I think I, I think I think I already see where I need to go because it's kind of like obvious. I think we have to go down here because they're kind of telegraphing that. So let's do that. We're gonna just follow follow this path. Um. I reckon Joraptor should do a Q and A. Draco Dragon, what have we been doing for the last hour? You can ask anything here as well, if you want. Um, so yeah, the Tombs of the Fallen are new. Um, also, Red Eye is of course selling a, a really nice axe. So I'm, I'm using like the... Uh, let me see, it's over here. It's really nice. It's the, the axe from the Blessed Warrior set. If you kill an enemy, there's like light coming out of the sky. I think it's awesome. This is the new weapon that you can get in the Tombs. Of the fallen part two in the underwater tomb, and I'm now about to get the really cool sickle that already. Uh, I'm not sure if leaked is the right word, but uh, we already saw it. Okay, let's see. Did I did I go here? Huh? I think this is like the way we came. Okay, we're gonna go back. And, uh, like, they also added, which I have been, have been rocking for this whole stream, but I wanted to switch it up. The uh, Master of Elements set. The uh, Fennel's Armor. So that's also new. And then, of course, we also get the festival on October 20th. So, yeah, we're, we're still, like, having good reasons to play Valhalla. I'm sure we will get the Forgotten Saga or the Lost Chapter. We will probably get that. Uh, so that's, like, the final story arc for Eivor. We'll probably get that, I think, at the end of November. Or maybe, like, I hope it's, like, at the at the anniversary. Although, that's, like, the same time that God of War comes out. So, I mean, I will still be streaming it and stuff. But, yeah, it's not very convenient. But we will see. I mean, Ubisoft is also launching Skull and Bones one day before God of War. What are they thinking? Okay, that... I I'm gonna take it. I'll take it. Didn't look that realistic, but sure. Okay, so we have to drop a lot. I, I'm liking it already. Less, less swimming, more shooting. But is that enough, though? Can it like go up even higher now? Can I make it like this? I think I am able to maybe make it. Yeah. There we go. There's a glitch in the fire tomb where the cinematic that opens the gate doesn't happen. No, really? Okay, I'm gonna save it right here. And then maybe we can like, uh, yeah, maybe like ch check check another safe. Oh no, that all that sucks. This game looks so good. Like I'm playing on PS5. Just uh, boot the game up. You don't have to worry about your drivers, Clippy in the background, and uh, your Excel documents. Just play the game. Have fun. And, uh, yeah. It looks good as well. 1.6 gig update. No stress. I can record at the same time. Whee! We go up, 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 up to the ceiling. But is this good enough? Yeah. Haha. -ha. So far, it, it, it's pretty manageable, which I'm happy about. Still no music though. I think it would be awesome to have like <laughs> so some epic music. Would not would have been nice. Oh no! Oh no! 
Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. oh! That move, Eivor, that move. There, so, so there should be like a jar here. Probably there. And I have to like throw it or something. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah. Okay, that's pro tip, of course. We talked about it and I'm not like... Okay. Boom. Ah, never mind. But still, like, go go into these tombs with adrenaline. Like, I'm, I'm not... That, that makes things so much easier. Because then I could just, like, blow this up already. And now we have to kind of figure out what we have to do. Uh. Oh, this to sleep? For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, nice that you got that. Uh Rangi Tang. Hey, there we go. Ah, nice. Oh, but now I need jar or loot, crappy loot. And we go back. Ah, there it is. Now I want to listen to vessels again. I thought I got blacklisted. What? Oh, sorry, man. Can you answer my question? Is it possible for Ubisoft to announce this Creed project Invictus? Sorry, man. I missed it. I, I think I already kind of answered that. But yeah, of course, they're like... Right now, they just wanted to talk about it. Um, oh, wow. Like freaking meteors are falling. Eivor, you got this. Maybe we got new leather, but, uh, I mean, we've survived worse. Like, right now, they just wanted to, like, uh, in a, during a press event, just talk about, like, something more substantial for multiplayer SS Creed than, say, we're working on it, which they did in the showcase. So that's where they, like, announced uh, Project Invictus with, like, a lot of interesting, like, multiple characters. And it's being made by uh, Rainbow Six Siege veterans, and also veterans. Okay, we can. Yeah, yeah, okay. And also veterans of For Honor, and with them like revealing multiple characters, I'm kind of like, ah, there it is. Ah, yeah. yeah. I am kind of like, okay, so will it work similarly? Like, of course, having heroes really works well, and. Assassin's Creed has a ton of, like, familiar characters. So, yeah, I, I would not be surprised if they're gonna explore something like that with every character having their own unique capabilities. And then, like, that's also interesting. We, of course, also had, like, um, the actor behind Ezio at Ubisoft. But we still don't know why. Okay, I have to, of course, carry the uh, freaking... Uh, the ball. Ah! So, like, maybe it was for, for a game like that, where, like, old and new characters come together in a multiplayer project. And it's similar to the Heroes reveal or the operators for Rainbow Six, so that it's like an event when a new character comes out. Only this time, it's a character that you already know from the older games. It also should not have one setting, but multiple. So that's also very interesting. I'm just curious what the gameplay will be like. Uh, where do I put the ball? Ball? Let's see if there's like a better, like from here I, I go this way. Down here. Ty is skipping back to watch because I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. It's uh, It was a little dark, but that's what we have to do. Yeah, that's also nice, of course, for going live. Like, I'm I'm getting help as well. Like, otherwise I would have been maybe stuck a few times as well. I mean, in the end, like, that's always... Like, I've never been really stuck with this game. Like, in this game. 
where you really have to look something up, like... Yet another path. At least I move forward. Okay. So, let's follow that again. Was there music in the freaking previous Tombs of the Fallen? I don't know. I'm probably gonna do timestamps for the different tombs as well, so it's maybe easier for people to kind of skip and see. Okay, so that's of course the gate. So I think it's like this way, maybe? Oh, we got a really cool statue right here. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so this is one that we don't have yet. So let's um, explore. So we have to probably go from here somewhere to access it. Wapparoo. Okay. Not that I need the health. Yeah, we already had that. So I think this is like the right way. Use the elevator. Or the lift. It's not really an elevator. Yeah, and then we can... Okay, so... Okay, there's a chest actually here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, this actually may be interesting. Doesn't look like something I should go to, but... Maybe there is something here. And also, like, kind of with the Far Cry DLC kind of coming out of nowhere, I still have hope for Horizon. Like, that out of nowhere, if they really have, like... Because DLC doesn't need, like, a big run runtime. I really think that what we had for Frozen Wilds was really the old age, where they had to do an E3 show, so it made sense for them to have Frozen Wilds there. When it, of course, came out in November. Like, I really think you can, like, announce a DLC on, and release it a month later. They kind of did it with Dawn of Ragnarok as well. It was announced in December. Ma early March we had it. So that's still a few months. But didn't need that much lead up time. So yeah. I I'm li like not saying that we get like Horizon DLC this year. Although I would love it. But I'm also saying that the fact that we haven't heard anything yet. Doesn't mean that we are not getting it. Because I, I would have... I, I kind of like already was like... That fast DLC. Probably going to take a while. Oh my god, okay, I'm running in circles now. Let's see. Can you upgrade your gear puff mystical? Your armor had a green glow. Yeah, yeah, lazy lightning, that you can. Um, you uh, do need the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC though, or you have to buy items at Reda, then destroy them uh, at the blacksmith, or kind of like nuke their quality, and then you can actually... Uh Maybe I should like look back in my stream as well to see which freaking doorway opened it's like over there i think it's like that one. Oh no we came actually from there so i think we have to just go to the completely other side yeah i think we have to go maybe here yeah there's one like thing over here as well <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Or is this like the entrance? Uh, I do think I do think we're we're making progress. Where's the tomb you are in? Over here. So close to this uh, Mossery Shrine, Hampton Shire, over here on the map. And the other one is over here. And then we have to go back to the first two. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, that, that one is barred. We have jars here. So we're likely gonna use that. Jumping down. We have to destroy something. There we go. Okay, we're making progress again. I mean... There's a lava everywhere. There are going to be flames. We will manage though. Because we got the Eden's Heart skill where we basically get like 
insane amount of health back. Like, really, this one, with the freaking adrenaline slots, way easier. Okay, we're gonna open this. Get the, get the ball rolling, right? Or not? Oh, wow. Okay, hello. I probably should have used that with my jar, because I'm probably going to need my jar over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, not even. So what am I doing here, then? Ah! I'm gonna get the jar because we are going to need it. But I do think I have to go... Oh, wow, there's one over there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna drop it. Okay, so this is interesting. I don't think we can use it yet, though. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so stand there, throw it, I think, is the way to go. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. That worked as well. Okay, I think, yeah, now we have to put this on the sort of thing that will go up. Just walk by the Gorilla HQ and ask them. <laughs> Wish it was that easy. Like, uh, Horizon is for sale right now, till tomorrow. Like, and of course, like, that is also, like... Can I, like, move it past here? No. Or is it, like... Uh... Seems stuck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought I had to put it up here, but I, I don't think I can. How many tombs? There are three. There are three new ones. So, or actually two, but we have to go back to the first one. So I will, I will be doing that after I c complete this one, but I have to make sure that I... Maybe I can like do it like this. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Didn't look that obvious, but uh, in retrospect, it kind of was. So yeah, we're going here. Move it in the water. Yeah, thanks everyone for the tips. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. There we go. Yeah, there are five tombs, or like six in total actually. So five actually in the world, and then the first one we have to go back to. But so far, I like how the tombs are kind of different, especially in terms of look. Compared to the other ones, the, the other felt all kind of same. Yeah, I, I just don't really remember their distinctive look. I don't think they had any. So that's already cool that they're kind of like changing that. Okay, so what do we do now? Uh, okay, it seems like... Okay, that is nice. And is there like something I can shoot over here as well? Okay, we can like push that. I can at least like jump on here. Get some arrows because I need them. Otherwise, they won't put them here. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. I have to like step on this. Have it go down. So I have to be fast. And now I can quickly shoot. Papa. Okay, but it's still stuck. Okay, we have to go to the other side as well there. How am I gonna get there? Ah, okay, I see it already. 
There's like a jar there. If I hit that. Yeah, there we go. So now I can use that. To get up here. Ah! Okay. This is not going well. Oh, break, fall, save my ass. Okay, but we have to go up again. Okay, yeah. So, uh, we have to, like, hit that red spot over there. How do you start the tombs? If you're completely new to the tombs, you have to go over here. Next to your settlement, go here. So, it's very close by. There's a cutscene that starts right here. If you already completed the first three tombs, go here. That's the first new one. And the one that I'm at right now is over here. Hope that helps. How many hours do you have on Valhalla? I'm at like 500. Asking one last time, any clue about the runes in Ireland? Sorry, Ad Adlay Moon, if I like f uh, missed that. Uh, but I never like thought that they would do anything with those runes because it just makes no sense. Like. This content is free for everyone. And if you need the druids, the expansion to even like access these runes, you're already talking about like 10% of the Valhalla players, maybe less, that are able to access that content in the first place, let alone play it. Because if you look at the trophies for the Tombs of the Fallen, I think only 3% of all the Valhalla buyers completed the first three tombs. So that puts into perspective why it really for them doesn't make sense to. Uh, Oh, yeah, nice. To, uh, yeah, have make runes in the island as well. So, I, I I was never, like, really expecting them to do anything with them. So, I don't, ex I don't think you should expect them to do anything with those runes either. Now, the more interesting question is the Rolo questline that got leaked more than a year ago. And I would be shocked because it really seems like they got everything in place already. Like, I would be shocked if that is not... Like, coming. Seems like it's kind of like... And then I have to like pull the lever on the other side or something. Oh, there's like another one over there. Ah, bar door, nice. Okay, there's a jar here, which might be like... A hint. Because, yeah, we, we know that the support is probably ending this year. Like, maybe because Rift got delayed. Like, they wanted to uh, release Rift at the end. Or um, in February of this uh, of uh, 2023. But it got delayed to spring. So, like, May, June. Maybe because of that, they were like, okay, we have to, like, space the content out a bit more. And that's why they are, um, that's why they might like have, maybe that's why they're pushing some Valhalla stuff. Like we opened the door here, right? So even if I like fall down, doesn't matter. Or can I like maybe swim down here? I think I'm just gonna run. Haha! -ha. Power of Muspelheim. Okay. Okay, let's not. Hello, your raptor and mods. Hey, monster assassin. As always, good to see you. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Nice. Can actually use this. Huh. Hey, I was talking about that as well, Muspelheim. Uh, okay. So, what are we supposed to do with this? I think I can just, like, run back, right? I'm literally stuck in the next room. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out together. Don't worry about it. 
I'm uh, completely burnt. <laughs> I probably have to like push it, throw it down, right? Okay. Let's see what we got here. One more of these after this, and then uh, it's Isu time. I think you just swear, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Don't tell YouTube. Yeah, for some reason, uh, when I like die or something in the Forgotten Saga or something, when when it actually matters, I don't do it. But but here, when I out of nowhere saw like a random freaking way day thing that did not matter at all, I uh, I had to shout something. There are five artifacts in each tomb. Yes, so I I, I think like I'm not sure. Do you need all these artifacts though? I, I'm like because of course we had a video we made a video on it so is that a, is that it I think we did it right I did not see a cutscene wow I think that is I cannot move it anymore okay we're gonna go up here anything new with the update yeah you're looking at it right now I'm playing the tombs of the fallen which is the brand new content they added um there are also like the Rune Factory, we talked about that with Dennis earlier, and of course, if you're watching like uh, right now and are like wondering what's new, there will of course be a big video up as well, so check that out too. I think it's, we have to go there, because I'm like seeing, that's like a hint, right? So, or is it like the, oh that's of course the, the freaking door. So there's one more uh, one that I have to clear, to clear, but I, I'm kind of like stuck finding which one that is. And it's not this one. It is like around there. So I think we have to like look there. Because it should be around there. Is there a chance that Reddit can be a mirage with contracts? I think there is a chance. But I don't think we should expect it. Like they're really clear that Mirage is like a one and done game. You will probably finish the story in a few. Uh, in like eight hours or something I guess. And then if you want to do everything. It's like 10 to 50. Or like 20 hours I think. To do everything maybe. Uh, that's like kind of comparable to the older games and that's of course the inspiration that they're taking and the type of game that it is so like there uh, there's probably not gonna be any um, okay we can like still move oh no huh okay so it's just like glowing for no reason that's quite quite annoying or is the door supposed to open? No, 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 I still need one freaking ball, I think. Let's go back. I think it's still that one, right? Yeah, so we still need one from here. We kind of have to look in the environment to see where it can go to. Or where we can actually try and get it. I think I'm, I'm gonna have to go down. I don't think I've looked down enough. I oh know this is not smart. You need the artifacts, really, really. Okay. I mean, that is in that is cool. That is cool. So again, where the heck is this one? I'm gonna look at the chat, maybe someone knows it. Lost chapter will involve Rollo. Now we haven't seen him in the trailer, so I don't think it's that. Push that into the water. Okay, that was like an older one, I love the tombs. Could you use the torch? Sure, or if you're like having a hard time seeing things. Is there a better arbor than the Draugr that I get can get for free? How do you get the Draugr for free? There are way better armors than the Draugr. I still think the Paladin armor from uh, Siege of Paris is one of the best. Uh, damn, son. Okay. Hmm. 
there must be... Yeah, we're, all I can do is kind of like explore. And so this is where we en have to end up. Maybe it's this way. Or did I already complete that? I do think it's actually that way. Maybe it's that way. Or did I already complete that? We're gonna try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't wanna be stuck. I don't wanna be stuck. I think it's this way. Yeah, I think this is it. I think it's this is it. Nice. I do remember this though. <laughs> I think this is not it. I think you need to bring the new ball from the same location. Or is this it? I don't think this is it. No, no, no this is it. I, I still need this one. Oh wow, this freaking lava is hurting me. There we go. Yeah, okay. We have to complete this one and then... Uh, we get the sickle. We're, we're I really hope that on this save I have all the freaking artifacts. Because I'm sometimes like losing track. And with of course we're working like on different freaking videos. So Joyce had all of them. I think I have them too. I think I have them too. But I'm not 100% sure. Will this bring me down? Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Oh, we have to... Oh, okay. It's rock, rock time. Um, wh what, where do I want to go? Which one should I go push down? I think it's... I, I, it has to be this one, then. I think I cannot, like, even... I have to go up here. So I think it's good to have all the counterway on that one. So like throw the rock over this one. Oh. No, okay, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I think I have to put it on that one. can go down. But now it is stuck. Not sure if that rock even matters. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back, see what what's up. Anthony, uh, yeah, I'm of course excited for Mirage. I'm really curious what a old school style game looks like especially with the the tools from Valhalla so how uh, yeah what what kind of the mashup will be but yeah if I of course can choose I, I'm I'm more excited for for red okay I'm gonna try this again I'm not sure if I can like even. I think I'm, I'm I'm not doing it right because otherwise it wouldn't be this hard. I think. Maybe. Okay, okay, okay. This one can go way lower than. That. Yeah, I think I think this is it. But I still need more rocks. I think. I don't think the rocks are doing anything. Is there like something I can shoot? There were other rocks, really? Okay. Ah, uh, back here. Yeah, 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 okay. Or also there. Or around here. Only seeing jars right here. I don't have, think they have... So there are more rocks. <laughs> hmm. 
Drift, don't worry about it. Uh, let's see if this ladder has sound something. May shame burn for eternity. Okay. There are more rocks. Rocks like all the way back in the room. Really? That that, that I just been to like a couple of times, or like all the way back here? Yeah, I don't think I have to go all the way back here. So we're going back. Okay, I'm gonna have to look even better. I think I'm blind. Maybe I should put on my glasses. Ah, the stones are next to the letter. I mean, I can't always do it. Maybe it's time for my ultimate form. Oh. Whoa. This is great. Now I see what I'm doing. Shaq Lee Lorley says, blind. That's why I put on my glasses. Now we go back. To the ladder. And we see two rocks. I I, I, I really think that I don't see them with my without my glasses on. So that was totally not my intention. It's just that they were like very hard to see or like impossible to see for me. But now I see everything clear. And now we can move up, hopefully without, I think, Eivor as a counterway. It's still not enough though. Probably have to stand on it myself. I don't think we can go down even low. Ah, okay. I underestimated Eivor. There we go. Like, I just knew that the previous tombs were not that, like, hard. So I was like, I'm gonna do this completely blind. I think we did pretty well. But now, <laughs> now it's time to rock. Now, now it's time. Where do I go? <laughs> I think it's like pretty easy actually. I should probably just jump down here. Whoa, this one is really easy. Seven twenty to four k. To be fair though, really, when I because I have like um, so my my short side is like fine, but it's mostly like for longer distances, and. When I, like, put on my glasses for the first time, when I was, like, playing a game, it really felt like the jump from uh, non-HD to HD. <laughs> so, I experienced that two times, which is kind of nice. Can I use the freaking lift? I don't think I can, right? With this. No. Okay, we're gonna... We have to go this way. Yeah, that was supposed to happen. Okay, and now we can use the lift. The stones are there. You must be quick. Help me with that, Ellie. I, I don't know what you mean. Or Ailey. There we go. 
I really hope the cutscene triggers. I'm gonna like save him right here because I saw I heard someone had like an issue where the cutscene did not trigger. And we're gonna remove the glasses because maybe we will need them later on. I'm gonna drink something though. I hope that answered your question, Kenny. I feel closer to my destination. Okay, enough of that. Does this update have the Lost Story DLC for Valhalla announced earlier this month? No. When they said it, they also said uh, in, the ne in the next few months. So it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. I think it's gonna be November at the earliest. But it might be even later than that. I still think we get two extra updates this year. I think one will be the final chapter. I think the other one will be New Game Plus. And then the question is, when will they do Rolo? Well, I personally think... That they're probably gonna do Rolo and uh, maybe as sort of Mirage promotion. I don't know, but it's interesting. Do you come to honor this is where the glitch America, happens. Oh no. King of the I think it worked for me though. The, Romans. the other tribes were ruled by fear. Nice bottle. <laughs> built bridges, they waged war. <laughs> they well deserved the slaughter that followed. I've seen the glory of Rome and know it is our future. They seal me in this sulfurous tomb, but they cannot bury destiny. Okay, okay. I am only here for the freaking sickle, which is over here. Um, I think I don't have the glitch then, right? What is Reda's thing? I'm going to show you that after I get this cool new weapon. Varika's sickle. I am really curious what the perk is. So please reveal that to me. I, lo I love the look. But the perk is uh, very bad. Three kills. And then. 20 seconds. Everyone is already dead. And you can also use the fire strike. Okay, I don't know what happened, but it really feels that someone who was like kind of in charge of cool perks moved on to another project or something. I don't know. But heavenly light shines down after a kill, dealing area damage. Like this one is really amazing, this item. Um, and it's at Reda. So like I totally recommend this one, 120 opal. But yeah, the perks for the new items are, yeah, really not exciting at all. Well, the armor that I'm wearing here, like the Fallen Hero armor from this, from this like, activity, has that when, like, for one, it looks awesome. But also, when you, when you get hit, you drop, like, a bomb, which is awesome. Okay, so we have to look for the artifact again, and I'm, of course, going back as well to r show people where it is. So, I think I'm gonna uh, do that, because it seems like a pretty far... Like, I have to, like, walk quite a lot, so I'm gonna make sure that I, like... Have a nice... That we like face the, the tomb properly. I think the entrance was right here, right? So yeah. The entrance right here. So then we go here. From the tomb. We go... We walk past the gear chest. And then we go slide down here. Then we continue, 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 continue. Use the lift. The ladder, or are we like missing it already if we use the ladder? No. Okay, we should probably use this lift as well. Feels like I'm missing it already, but I did not really see another like... Because this feels like the, the exit. Oh, maybe it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, before the freaking exit here... Which is probably... So here's where you exit. You actually... One, so we're gonna show it right here. So you have to lift right here. You use that to go up. 
And then we go to the left. And then we already hear the weird sort of sounds. Use the letter down. And then... Ooh. Scary, scary spot. Okay, we get... Uh, we hear the weird sounds and we see the uh, final artifact. Say hello to Brazil. Hello, Brazil. And welcome. Where can we find this tomb? Angel Spirits, it's over here on the map. And the other tomb is over here on the map. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. I think I got all of them. I think that that is when you hear that. Like that seems like what what Avor is trying to do. So I had all the artifacts already. Thank God. Thank God. I think it's hard to say drift a teaser for the multiplayer, but I I hope that with them like kind of saying that we um okay so I'm gonna do this, but with them kind of saying that uh. Okay, we're gonna go back. That um, the SS Creed Showcase was like the, the 2020 or 2022 uh, version. I would not be surprised if we get one next year as well. So then you hope that they give updates. And what is also interesting is that they are saying to people that went to Paris for like a special press only event where. Invictus was actually shown with one concept art that like Eurogamer went there and they said to them hey um, you can ask that to the pe to the people working on Codename Red in the next few months so they're basically saying that there's probably going to be a press event for Codename Red in a few months which exciting like maybe during Game Awards they're already kind of teasing something I don't know I mean we had it for Dragon Age as well uh, am I going the right way? This is not the right way. This is not the right I way. Eyes, oh, yeah. We have to go down here. Why do we stay... Baby... Boom. When would, should we expect an Amazing Mirage gameplay trailer? I, I really think that... Um, uh, Game Awards in December is a likely candidate. But yeah, it could be later as well. Like, they really wanted to, like, first, um, Mirage was going to be in February. So everything got moved because it got delayed. So yeah, I, I would not be surprised if it's, like, a little later than December. So yeah, that we really... But I do think they might, like, do a, a teaser trailer or something. But, like, B-roll style gameplay, like, raw gameplay, I don't know. Okay, we have a cutscene. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's, uh... I really hope this is, like, a sort of thing that opens up. Let's see. Hey, King Guru. Thanks for joining. My camera is a little blurry, is it? Better now? I really hope there's like another reward from from this because we only know about the two weapons. Oh damn. Yeah, there we go. And we finally have music. Is 
This looks awesome. I would not mind it if they brought back the Isu knight armor from Origins that then also dropped in uh, Valhalla or in Odyssey with the Fate of Atlantis DLC. Like, if they brought back that outfit, I would not complain. Tom, uh, AC Japan and Witch Hunt or Hexay will totally be uh, main games. So Japan will be the next big game like Valhalla or actually more like Odyssey. Well, let's do it then, Eivor, because you really want to. I'm kind of curious as well. Oh, I bought Elden Ring Station. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's not it. Okay. Many tombs. Let's go. Whoop! Boom! How could this not be the work of the gods? I think you will die if you don't have the breakfall ability, so be careful. This is like a great spot for some photo mode uh, business. This looks awesome. I'm kind of hearing some sounds, but it's still like pretty weak. I don't understand you. Are you a god like Mimir from the old legends? What the heck? Smoonstra. Re-establishing communication. I apologize for the confusion, Anoka. I now perceive you are human, but not any human I have met before. So you aren't a god, a spirit then? Not in the sense that you. I am a cognitive operating system charged with the management of this defensive node. I borrow the appearance of Ra Salid, the author of the Rings of Eden initiative. Are you the one who summoned me here? I feel this discovery is no accident. In that you are correct. We approach a crisis point, and you are identified as the most suitable candidate to address it. What is the nature of your crisis? Not mine alone. The generator I'm kind of like figuring out who that is as well. Using energy, apparently lack an outlet for it. If this continues unchecked, the result will be a catastrophic discharge ending all life upon this island. That much I well understood. What must I do? The solution lies at the power core deep within the station. You already completed it, Rangi Tang. It looks awesome. Okay. Long tomb, but worth it. I mean. That looks light enough to carry. Okay, we got more of these. I should take care not to fall in that pit. Yes. This land cannot wait another hundred millennia. My <laughs> James Gunn converts. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay, we got these again. So we probably have to Point four of them at the. Okay, then we can go back. Damn. What's the what's the reward for this tomb? Yeah, I want to know as well, but I'm also I don't want to be like completely spoiled. I hope there's a reward though. Like maybe there isn't. Okay, I think we have to uh, do it like this. Or not? <laughs> I 
I mean, I, w I would be down for a James Gunn Assassin's Creed <laughs> type uh, movie or something. He actually did one uh, game once, uh, Lollipop Chainsaw. Can we make that? Ah! Okay, don't try that at home. One door has one socket, okay. Let's wow, I'm instantly dead. Is there anything good today at Red Eye? Yeah, the, the X the, the, that I'm using here. 120 opal, it's worth it. it uh, if you kill an enemy, it has like the light beam appear. Okay, so there's one door with one... Ah, I think it's this one, yeah. There we go. So now we can like enter. I think I like skipped the cutscene. Let's see. A line of light. Oh, wow. Is it dangerous? Oh, it's a flashing burn. Okay, I, 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 we can manage. I think I don't have to like be... I, I think I can just run through. See, with the Eden's heart skill, you can just run through. It's one and two. Okay, that doesn't work. I think I just need to activate the other one. I could move that device if I hit it just right. Oh, that's cool. I'm kind of getting uh, Horizon like. Uh I think I just have to shoot it. Which is easier. Cauldron vibes as well. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Run through likeables, yeah. <laughs> I mean, only the lava was kind of hurtful, but apart from that, okay, we can, I think, push this one. Or move it. Like this. I gotta do the water tube now. Yeah, I totally like the lava one more than the water one. But both were, were kind of cool. Oh, damn. My way is blocked. You will need to redirect the energy into the central chamber. <laughs> okay, I thought, oh, this is easy enough, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> they completely... Ah, I love this. That's so cool. How they changed that. Not sure if we've seen that before. Uh, damn. Okay, how do we start? And then we get the ball and then we can... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there are some things. Okay, so let, let's focus on the ones that have like a. So yeah, this one is aiming to that one. Can I? I can like, of course, direct it to a different. Okay, so if I move that one, I I, I can do this one. 
The reward will be hooded combat. <laughs> I mean, on one end, people would be happy about that. Because they would be like, yeah, finally hooded combat. But if you then explain what they have to do to enable that, that would not work. Oh. Uh, or do I have to point it? Luckily, we have unlimited arrows. Okay, so this seems like... So huh? Why does it have the red... Uh, okay. And if I do it like this... We do have this one. Ah, okay, I see it. This. Out of the way. Damn, I have the tomb glitch where the final door in the lava won't open. Really? Did you save? <laughs> Before that. Okay, we can only move it. Oh, I have to, of course. I, I get it. And then it, like, appears somewhere else. Damn, three of these puzzles. Okay, okay. I really thought it would be like... Like, I'm happy that it's a lot of content. I think this is like what we have to do. Okay. So now we can like focus on the next one. So that would be here. I think we have to move this to this spot. Uh, yeah. Where I can only direct it. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it already. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's that. Okay, then this one. We're speeding things up already. It's probably towards this one. Uh, but we want to, I think, direct it that way. So we have to push this aside. Then grab this one. Get that right here. Shoot this. To have it point. Oh, I don't think we can. Okay. Oh, man, maybe I have to... Yeah, I think I... Uh, I think I made the wrong bet. Or can I not ha have the laser go to that one anyways? Oh, no, I can. But it's now blocked, so can I, like, move this? Yes. And then... I think I have to like move this one here. <laughs> so it like directs it to this one. <coughs> Hello, what's new in the update? What you're seeing right here? Uh, I am in the final tomb, but there are. Okay. Uh, we of course have this one as well. So, if I like direct it, I want to see the w which. Uh, so yeah, this Tombs of the Fallen update, they have a rune factory, which is kind of a letdown, if I'm being honest. That is not it either. I'm gonna have to restart this whole tomb. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, I've now seen it a couple of times. What uh, what console are you playing on, uh, Kenny? Uh, I 
What? No, okay. I, I think this might be like a one that I just doesn't do not have to use because I just don't know how. Or maybe I can use this one instead. No, okay, I can't reach it. That one would be for that. I'm gonna leave that for now and I'm gonna try and do this one first. Like if I push it like this, I can still. Oh, damn, son. Okay, I think we have to. it like this yeah, I think it might be like this it seems to go through the freaking thing but it, I, I don't believe that no. uh, um, you need to get the little one to the front Try to see how you can move them around. Okay, so this one. I think you're you are talking about the, the previous one, right? Like I'm just like seeing this one. Okay, so let's focus for for the, for now on this one. Maybe if I like move it ah uh, okay, wait. I think I get it. I think I get it. I have to like, yeah, push this one all the way to the back. <laughs> and all the way here. So then I can use this one here. Shoot it. Uh... There we go, and then I have to remove this one. So we got this, and there we go, okay. So yeah, we have to move these things around way more, so like... Where do we put this one? Because this seems kinda... There is like a hole here though, or is there not? Is there not? No. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. Um, so yeah, this all fixed. So it's really all about... I think it's really all about getting this one... Over here, and then hitting that one. And can I hit it with his? Yeah. No. So... Am I like using the wrong one? Push it to the right more. Ah, okay. And now I should be able to hit it. But then I, of course, will not be able to hit that. So I, I do think it has to stand here. Put it in the small gap. Oh. So like here? We got it. Okay, now I just have to hit this one. Thanks everyone for the help. Oh. Light bow, of course, totally the best bow to use for this. Yeah, we're all Dutch here. I don't think so, but uh, let's not talk Dutch for... Uh, <laughs> For 
everyone here. And it is in ah, okay. The lava tomb had it, of course, as well. I think this is the right way, right? Yeah. That there's like a, a order now. Has the feel of a dream. What you are experiencing are remnants of our defensive system, designed to disorient the eyes and minds of those who have no place here, or who come with some malignant purpose. Do I have to like throw it? Or can I like do it like this? Okay. They made a pathway for us. Nice. Oh. I'm always sometimes surprised by how far Eivor can jump. <laughs> or just like pull himself up. Okay. So again, there's an order because this one has three. So we can't open that yet. But I can now open the one that has two. So, oh, I have to put it, of course, in the one over here. Again, I really hope there's a cool reward. Although I'm already really enjoying the... I think this one has two. And then that one, of course, has four, yeah. We're going to find uh, all the tombs. So, okay, I'm going to show them... Give me one second. We're gonna open this door. So here. This is the, the one where you start. Oh, not this one. But this is the one where you start. Then the new ones are over here. And then the other one is over here. So go here. Complete them. You find other ones, of course, over here. Uh, over here. And over here. And you need the artifacts as well, and that's huge. Because that's actually easy to miss. Are you saying I may forget this place? Not necessarily, though your perception and recollection may deviate from objective reality. <laughs> Those are anti-gravity pads. Sadly, I no longer have control over them. They may serve as stepping stones. They're really introducing a ton of cool stuff. Uh, okay. So we got some arrows right there. I can use this. There's like one over here, but I don't think I can hit it. I thought I could like, I can't like interact with this. Might want to jump down. Okay, that's what we have to, of course. Okay, I think we're immediately in the dam, son. This is kind of <laughs> looks big. Really, really big. Okay, we can climb up here again. That's probably what we have to do. How do I start this mission? Again, do all the tombs, get the artifacts. I will have a video about it up, don't worry. It's kind of hard. I, I just showed you all the tombs. So if you're on YouTube, you can like... Oh, there it is. Right? Yeah, okay, now it's moving. Okay. Ah, oh, wait. Again, Eivor surprising me with their uh, jump. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, now it's... Ah, because... Uh, what? Okay, so I... Because I removed that. Okay, I, I see it already. We have to do it like this. And then use this. 
and then move this. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, oh, we can't. We have to use do it like this. Hello. Ah, this. Okay, I, I get it. Move this like this. Move this like this. Okay, now jump down and go back up there. I finished all the tombs. Still don't activate. David, you have to get all the artifacts as well. So at the end of every tomb, there's like a small uh, artifact that you have to get. We actually did a video on it on Assassin Raptor. If you search don't miss these artifacts, there you will find all the locations. Oh, wait. this something oh yeah nah ah, okay ha huh. nice god damn it okay we're gonna I can't climb up there so <laughs> this one is hard by the way just little okay okay So far so good, I guess. I like the fact that it's like really linear. So I kind of like know what to do. Fennel's armor is out, Robert. Yes. Have been showing it during the stream. Uh, yeah. How do I? Okay. I know it. Ah. No. We have to go that way. seeing it okay haha <laughs> photo mode <laughs> okay so which way is it like it's now going downwards okay okay we have to hit it two times is it like moving now or is it like activated? Yeah. But now this one. Ah, now I have to shoot that one. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, 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 okay. That's kind of crazy. One, two. Oh, no. I have to like shoot this. One. Oh, wait. Let's make sure this one is in place. So it's two times. Then shoot this one like this. Then hit it so it's stuck. Then do it like this. Now I can jump back. Now I can shoot this. Okay. And now we can shoot this.
Oh. Yeah. Wow. Ah! I missed that. No! Ah! Oh my god. I looked at the chat and someone said, This looks so fun. I was like, Yeah, it is. And now I have to. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But yeah, I have to pay attention. Did you notice the guy had the same as Alfred the Great? The same voice actor? That's interesting. I, I don't agree. Like, I think these are awesome. And I, I like that they are, like, really... Because... First, it was like the mastery challenges, and um, and um, the river raids. Like they were all really combat focused. And Valhalla just did not really have a lot of content like this period. So I think it's actually really cool that they are that they are doing this again. But I am kind of scared though that I. Yeah, backtracking is is kind of crappy in this uh, in this area. So I do, yeah, think that I have to go on this. I have to like basically do the same tactic again. It's only a bit easier this time. Okay, hit this one again, or actually this one. Oh no! And now my arrows are empty as well. Damn, that sucks. Okay, that really sucks. Oh, there are arrows. Okay, luckily. How many do I get though? 40. Okay, it's like fully refreshed. We need more arenas. Well, uh, there are like, yeah, I, I, I was always like, oh man, the arena, Dawn of Ragnarok, is such a cool sort of thing, and I, I, I do kind of. Oh no, I, I did the, the thing again. Uh, like this. Wait till the platform is up. Then move it. There we go. And now we can go to the other side. Or actually up. Yeah, the, I think looking back at the Dawn of Ragnarok arena, it could have been way cooler. Like, they, they should have had at least some exclusive freaking arena fights. Not only, like, rehashed things that we already had before. Which is still nice, I guess, but... Okay. This is... Uh, how do I? Okay, I think I have to like shoot this one up. So we got the beam over here. Then we have to shoot this one to get the beam to this side. Then we have to shoot this one to get the beam to the other side. Or actually, okay, now this one is up. Is this it though? Uh, what happens if I do it like this? Move it. Where's Alexios? Wrong game. Alexios doesn't exist. It's Demos. Okay. Uh, I think I have to make sure that this one is now going to this side. No!
Can I not use it? I'm really scared to fall down. Oh, that was close though. Okay, we got some more platforming to do. Yeah. Is this it? Or I still have to, of course. Nah. Woo. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. Okay, that's a lot of easy stuff. Is this area behind the floor door? Yeah, 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 it is. So, do I like fall down? This is scary. This is scary. Kind of afraid to do the wrong thing. Okay, we do have a lever here. Okay. Okay, that one goes down. Did not have time to stand on it, but it will be back. I'm sure of it. Master, Marcus, it doesn't matter where you buy the game. I think they... they I, I played it on Xbox Series X and on PS5. It, it worked great on both of them. This is the first tomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The platform is a lift. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I don't think... I think it only comes back if I, like, interact with it again. If you have both consoles, I would go with PS5. Yeah, personally, I prefer playing on PS5 as well. Like, I'm still waiting for that Xbox exclusive as well. And I'm, like, mostly just playing Game Pass games that I don't have to buy then on PlayStation. But overall, I totally prefer... Uh, PlayStation also because there are just too yeah ma many games that are like playing on them and for example with um, with Valhalla the update is for example like t uh, almost like t it's like 20 percent of the size Who of something that could destroy the uh, they would rule uh, of there. the Xbox update it's so it's pretty well and I think the load times are a bit faster on PS5 they of course have the dual sense things, although they're not that great. One more to go, I think. One more puzzle to go. This was actually a, a very interesting puzzle. Um, I didn't find it too hard, but it was like kind of tricky. Okay, we of course have to use these these steps here. Prefer Xbox over PS5. Like I, I can see both. I can see both sides. I think Xbox is doing a great job uh, winning the minds of people again after like kind of a crappy generation with Xbox One. But I also still think that they have to. Re I really have a lot of proofing to do. They bought so many studios, and we still don't really know what they're what they're doing. Uh, yeah. Or like we know what they're doing, but like they haven't released a, g a good game. We're still only getting Forza, Halo, and Gears. Which kind of crazy. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we get here. You get a sword, really? Okay. That's cool. Is that has it a good? Does it have a good perk? Or will we not uh, spoil it? I was hoping for like a, an outfit. We have so many swords already. Although if it's like a really cool Izu sword, I would be down for it. Izu one-handed sword. But yeah, I'm seeing like some people like talk about the the like the complete edition for Valhalla. Like really, if you buy the game and never played it right now and have yeah also have all the free content like the mastery challenges, uh, the, the the Forgotten Saga. Like there's so much stuff. It's really insane. It it only gotten cheaper and the value only got up. So I, I really think, like, at first I was like, I'm not sure if I can recommend the game to everyone because it was kind of, like, really, really uh, bloated, like, and, and a lot of the content was similar, but now there's so much stuff you can do. I think in the end we have to do it like this. Can we place it in the direction? I see some things I can shoot. We first have to get this over here. Is this... Hello? I don't think it's... Ah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that was... That, that was tricky. Okay, there we go. Then... We do it like this. Okay, this one is easy enough. I think we already got it. Oh yeah, of course, there's probably going to be a bigger one. Let's restock right here and let's continue. I think. Or no, it's not like... It's not like... Well positioned. I don't. I have to like... Oh wow, there's like a, <laughs> a hole there. I did not even see that yet. Okay. Can I like... Hello? This is weird. Okay, I think I have to move like this. I cannot move it. I, I hear the sound though. This is what this is this is how it's supposed to go. So what am I missing? Or should I drop down? Should I? Maybe it wasn't open. Like let let's check. Let's check. Or is it like a? Did that open up? No, it was already there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Martin, in your opinion, when do you think uh, Raj will, will launch? Spring is uh, likely it. So May seems to be uh, what they're aiming for, but it can, of course, go. Uh, it can, of course, be later. So what did I open? I don't have the moment to play for Valhalla. The world is so big, but it feels empty. Yeah, but no, no, that is kind of what I'm trying to say. Like, even if you don't like the open world stuff, there are stuff like this. Like, it's... I wish they would have, like, a, a sort of easy navigation tool. Should I just do it? Yeah, you have to drop down. Okay. I wanted to double check. Oh, damn. We got lasers. But again, doesn't really matter. Doesn't doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Again, would have been nice to have a freaking uh, adrenaline bar. Okay, 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 okay. Where do we start? Okay, it's already here though. So this is the final puzzle probably. We can move this.
Don't want to spoil myself. How are the new tombs? Julian, I think they're great. They, they're re they're, they have way more their own identity. Like this one is completely different than the volcano one. And there was one underwater as well. The rewards are like really cool looking. They're not that great though in terms of perks. But I, I hope the, the, the thing that we get from this is, is more exciting. So yeah, overall, I think, uh, I think, and th that has kind of been the, the story. And that's why I think the, um, the sort of rune building. Okay, so this is where we start. Okay, I just, I just have to shoot this. Uh, the rune building is like, uh, kind of sad in a way where. The, the room building that's also added with this update. Because... Because it only includes main game items. And... Like, they're really shown that... They can improve and they can, like, learn and... Every iteration of a game mode is better than the other one. I still think the River Raids is, like, the... The least exciting game mode overall. But still, part 2 was way better than part 1. Same for the monster challenges, etc, etc. So, I'm, I'm really digging them. But how am I hitting... Oh, there's like this, this thing is blocking it. Can I like move that? Still one puzzle left after this. Okay, Black Knight, damn. Okay. Did not expect this to be like a long stream. <laughs> like, I'm enjoying myself for sure. But we wanted to make the video today as well. Which is gonna be uh, interesting. So yeah, how the heck do I move this? When you're leaving the part where you complete it. Maybe I should not like... Maybe it's time for the glasses again, I don't know. Okay, there's one up here. Yeah, so this is like the end. I just wanna say... Hey Drift, don't worry about it. We're, we're totally cool, man. You did nothing weird or something. It's just that I have, of course, I, wa I want to focus on the content. I have a lot of uh, people asking questions. So I want to pick the one that I want to answer. So don't worry about it. Uh, okay. I'm going to look at the chat. How much the w of the final chapter will be in England? I don't know. Uh, it looked quite kind of big, though. Can I get through this? Or should I like move this a bit more? Maybe I can move this. Ah. I can move it like this. That's probably what I should do. And maybe I can like shoot it here. Okay, photo mode time. What the heck is going on here? So this one is blocking, but how the heck do I get here? It's like a from up here. No. 
Uh, wait a second. Photo modes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It is also one that I can use. Okay. Now we get. Now we get. We get to go somewhere. Blip. Oh. Blip. Blip. So this great. We also still have this one. Oh, I can probably move that. But how do I? Ah, that's of course from via this thing. I do need a torch here, so because otherwise I can't see where I can move this. Okay, this one is like blocking. I can't like. Don't think I can. Oh, I actually can. Yeah. Yes. Move it. That is good. And then we can move this away again. Yeah, Drift 2023 is gonna be great as well. I see a lot of backseat gamers in the chat. We're getting there, we're getting there. Got it back to the first tomb, yes. Okay. <laughs> this is so so there we go. There we go. Exit gamers are people who are watching and are like, dude, what the heck? Sometimes I think it's easier to see where you're only watching instead of playing and watching. So that's why I like it when people help. Is this like, is this it? Or did I uh, not? I think there's like another way, the, the other one I have to like match as well, right? Backseat gaming, yeah. Okay, so this one goes... Okay, so yeah, we have one over here as well. Okay, so that is... If we move this to the side. We probably have to move this one. Like this. See? I can do it. Don't worry about it. If I don't see a climb. It just takes a few extra seconds. And then we're there. Uh, okay. Let's grab the ball. Get out of here. And go back. Probably have to go up here. Okay, so one more puzzle. One final puzzle. And that uh, that's the end of it, I think. Oh, no. Again, I did not expect it to uh, 
<laughs> Read this much content. So I think if I like. I can't like use a torch at least uh, at the same time. How do I get the lighting rune like uh, uh, from Thor's hammer? I want that. You can uh, get it from the rune forge that they just added. Okay, okay. I already tr started the new one, yeah. Whoop. Uh, no, we have to go for the four ones, so for the four. Now let's all point them in the same direction and... Uh, We got a we got a, f a surprise. <laughs> Again, I w I looked at the chat. I, I saw uh, Vitrana say, "I have to admit, I've not played it yet as a wait for my partner to come home so we can play it together." I just stick my nose in the stream like yours, so I roughly know what to expect later. Yeah, that is smart. That is totally smart. I hope I did not like reset everything. Uh. I'm not able to... Oh, there it is. Okay. So we did not lose that much progress, <laughs> luckily. It's kind of weird that you really, like, have to... I mean, on an older console, I, you probably have to, like, sit through a pretty long loading screen if you fall down here. Just wanted to check it, so you don't, so you don't have to do it yourself. The final reward is amazing. Okay. I can already smell the final reward. To think such wonders are buried unused beneath the earth. I know some who'd risk their lives to possess them. Really, I did not think the reward was that good. Uh, okay, so we got... Chief Guardian, Hilden. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Yeah, I am. Shrek official, thanks for joining. A failure to return suggests an unsatisfying end. I'm curious if the if I like the reward. I once met a woman named Hildereth, also driven by rage. I wonder if the two are somehow connected. It is possible you both share a direct link to the past. However tenuous it might be. We of course know Hilderin, linked to the Valkyrie. She was of course from the Mastery Challenges. Uh, okay. Looks all big, holy water. But what do we do? I think I'm just gonna m run up here again. I think we can go up, yeah. Oh I my god. Inside. Yes. You need but reach that pedestal to attain the key to this station. <laughs> I suspect it won't be so simple. No. The security protocols are fully active and beyond my reach. I think that's a cool uh, thumbnail image for the for the thumbnail. So uh, let, let's uh, get it. Showcase the weapons. <laughs> I 
Eivor does look kind of kind of angry though. Ah, this is better. This is better. Oh, he did he change his face again? I don't know. Maybe I wanna. I think I got a better idea. Like I'm not sure if we can like return to this area again. So we're gonna do it like this. Or is it like better like is there like some light here somewhere? Oh wow, there are lasers here. Come on. So behind the scenes looks at thumbnail creation. Maybe I do it like this. Maybe I might never use it, but I, I don't know if I can ever go back here. So yeah, okay. I feel my controller is vibrating, so something is happening. Okay, these things are moving. Hope you're doing amazing. I already had that. Well, after watching this, I can say that that the tubes are not for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that as well. But that that's that's what Jose was also saying. Like you can't uh, make everyone happy. Um, so yeah, that it makes sense. I think this must be that. Again, I think we can easily get hit by this. It doesn't really matter. Does my bow reach this? Is that a good one? does look like it though. No, I'm not uh, it doesn't it's not hitting it. Uh Okay, that's not good either. Okay, I can. Yeah, I can hit it, but it, it, it goes back automatically. Okay, so I think I just have to do this one. Maybe I can like climb up here. Maybe I can move this. It feels like this one is better for that uh yeah <laughs> wrong aim the, it's the one in front of you so i have to use this one on oh yeah okay There we go. Okay, this is way harder with a light bow. Maybe I, I, I might want to switch. <sighs> this is all hunter bow. Uh, not that it matters. Oh, 
Okay, I already prefer the light bow because you can like hit way faster. I do think it's. Th I do think it's. Uh, so, hey, Bleak Freak, thanks for joining. So, the XP that you see on my heart is actually a bug because I don't have the XP boost. But it still says that I have it. Okay, I, I already want to go back to. Okay, I think this is it. This is uh, one. It, uh, are like more platforms moving now? Okay, what what is kind of going on here? What is. Is it hitting something? Seems like it is. But still, also seems like I'm missing something. Oh. It moved. Okay, I'm gonna look at the chat, sorry. Oh my god, mind boggle, mind puzzle. This is the last one. It's done, okay. When you're standing, aim it to your left. So I think I, I got this one right. So we should not move this one anymore. So maybe I can like... Oh, we have one over here as well. I think I, I should just like aim it like <laughs> right here, right? Or am I? Uh, it's probably like. Yeah, this is probably dead. But I, I can't have these these things move. Okay, so I had it. Okay, now this is it. Yeah, okay, so this one all the way to the left and down. Okay, thanks Marco and Rangi Tang. Appreciate it. Okay, so now we... I think these are moving again, so that's good, but these are not. And then do it like this. Okay, now the one down to the right. You have to move the pillar first. Okay. Oh, there's a pillar here, yeah. I see. I see that it's blocking something. So we're gonna do it like this. Okay. YouTube is a bit behind. Something can move on the lower platform. Yeah, I think I, I, I did that right now, right? So this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the laser. So. Aim that one to you, to your upper left point left oh it's so hard with everyone giving directions but I, I appreciate the help but I have to kind of figure out I'm just gonna like stand here and then I want to see where I need to go because I think I'm like moving and then I get the direction so then it's kind of hard. So I'm like standing here, I pointed this to this, I think that was good. 
And now I have to point this to something else. The one you are on the lower one. A hey, drift, see you later, man. That one to where you move the pillar. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now I can use move this one to the move to the one to move the pillar. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yes, then we do this. Like, see, I can't get that one, but I can get this one. Point the second one down and right. One good. Two down right, up left. Okay. Ah, yeah. Gotcha. That's really helping, Carson, wh wh how you uh, how you did it. Thanks to everyone else, of course, as well. So we're now able to move this one. Ah, yeah. Now we got the pillars moving. Or actually the, the sort of floating platforms. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we, we're going to move up. We're going to move. Hoppa. By the way, impressed that everyone who uh, gives, gives giving direction already uh, completed it. That's uh, pretty wild. <gasps> okay, I'm going up here I hope I'm not like moving a bit too fast so I should okay so we got that one over here which probably made sure that I that these floating platforms were moving right <laughs> I think I have to go and hit those again. Hey, Shelby. Aim this one up to the left. Okay, so I have to you now aim. Yeah, so that's the only sort of way that I can move that one. Damn, this is kind of... Kind of hard. Joining single one of your videos. Thanks, Warrior Army. Okay, I'm going back. Okay, so for everyone on YouTube, there is a short delay, sadly. I'm going to stand here. And I think that that will help us see what we have to do. So, I have this like this. I just moved that one to that one. But I can, of course, also move that one over here. And I think that might be what we have to do now. Can't wait to play this later today. Yeah, it's really fun. It's uh, can be quite challenging, but it's totally cool. To the lasers. So we're gonna jump down here. Jump on the moving platform and move forward. Okay, thanks, Tony. Okay, to the lasers. We're gonna get hit. Doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna move up here. We're gonna go here. Gonna do this. Do this. Okay. 
Oh, there. Oh, wow. That looks like an Izu sword. Okay, so we are over here. We have to go this way. Oh, yeah, I, I see. I can climb up or climb like this. Okay. We're able to go to the lasers there. Eivor, you're taking it like a champ. No, what the heck? That's always crappy if you like played a different game. I think in Horizon it's like circle to move to the other side. With this game I think it's X. I'm curious where I start. Oh my god. The real start that started this. Oh no, over here. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh wow, never mind though. <laughs> oh wow, it's really like... I mean, we know it now. But damn, that's brutal. That's brutal. Okay. Yes. Wait. I think it was already here. Uh, okay, we can move on here and then uh, let's not drop down there. So we got this. Now let's move on. Very cool sword, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you got the wind in the back doing that jump. Can I like save when I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, okay we're gonna do it like this. <gasps> wow. And I'm gonna save. Okay, we're here. Let's do this. Can I move this? No. Okay, I cannot hit the laser from there. I can move do do it right here. Uh where is it going? I think that's the the right way actually let's see if i can like do anything here with the lasers i think i can move this so let's do that doesn't matter if i get hit although i do like the idea i've only completed the first two well then you got a a lot of content ahead of you I think this is it. I think I have to push it a bit. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going in that direction. to hit it from here. I really have to go back on the platform. No. I think it was already in the right uh, direction. Yes. Yes. 
Okay. Nice. This is the final one. The final uh, thing I have to hit to get to the sword. The sword kind of looks like the sword that X the Animus and like the other mentors uh, made. The one that we got like uh, as part of the uh, as part of a Ubisoft Connect thing. Uh, okay. Probably have to climb up here. <laughs> okay. Can we hit something? This. It's already hitting something there. That doesn't seem like... Probably go. It probably has to go down. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, now it's hitting something, which is down here, and that is great. And that is going here. Okay, so that's already in the right thing, but the pillar is blocking it. No! Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I am dying, though. What the heck? Ah! Thank God. Okay. Oh, wow. It's blocking both now. Uh, but... I actually think that I have to push it like this. And then to the side. Or not. Or, yeah, is it getting hit now? Yeah, yeah. And now I can aim this towards this. Oh. <gasps> Remember to save. Wow. Oh, wow. Golden Blade. I'm really curious and I hope it has a good perk. Please have 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 a good perk. Uh, kind of scared, but it there's like a okay. Uh, okay. Think this it. Think this it. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Big sword didn't happen. Pool sword. We, of course, want to get the picture for later. have to turn up the brightness quite a bit but I do think it's kind of cool to have the thumbnail with this is there like a better uh, lighting no this is kind of nice so it's this direction mm. I do think I have to like do up the hood Kinda nice. Let's one more, one more. Uh. 
And also one from the sword itself. Oh. Ah, it looks awesome. Okay, there we go. I am recording, right? Yeah. Whew. What is it? Some kind of weapon? More of a tool. But it has been used in defense of this facility. As its legend grew, people took to calling it the Blazing Sword, ignoring its more practical functions. We were aware of the threat for several of your centuries. The project was played with delays, and in the end, we grew complacent. Fortunately, we don't have that luxury of time. What must I do? Draw it from the pedestal. Once released, the blade will absorb the station's power and trigger the shutdown sequence. If the fates had let me in, take hold of my destiny oh, wow the godless changed yeah sort of Eden is it oh wow well done Nutra. you are a most effective piece of engineering <laughs> A most impressive tool, spirit. Called by someone the blazing sword. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes. An energy projectile is launched towards your locked target on a light attack. That's insane. There is no exit. Okay. So we have to just like. Uh, that was awesome. Let's just see if there's an upgraded version as well. I don't think there is gonna... There is... Oh my god, look at that weapon. Look at that weapon. Oh, wait, yeah. I can get you that one easy. Final appearance reached, sure. But for this one, I don't think, yeah, there is. I feel like a proud father. Look how strong you are. Yeah, we already knew about that one. Looks way cooler like this. And we, of course, had that one handed X as well. Uh, this one. Okay, yeah, it makes it look way cooler. Nice. So yeah, that that was the tombs of the fallen. Let's see the projectile. I agree. Curious if we can like. So I need it. I'm gonna like switch my armor set to the fallen hero armor set. Uh, again. So an en an energy projectile is launched towards your locked target. Damn, you got a lock? It's... This is like on the same... 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This weapon is insane. Okay. Oh my god. What the heck, dude? <laughs> this is so awesome. Why do we get this weapon this late into the... Oh my god. Okay. Sounds like a lightsaber. <laughs> That's insane! That's insane! Wow. And this is so interesting. So, I really think, like, if you just start out Valhalla, uh, you can do the freaking... Um, oh, wow. It continues to, like, sh Damn. I want out. Like, you can already do the tombs really early on. You just have to go to these locations in the world. But you don't have to fight anyone. And you can get probably one of the best weapons in the game. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Oh, there, is there like a cooldown on it? I'm gonna like unequip this weapon because I do think it kind of hurts the. Okay, so where is the effect? Oh, there's a cooldown on it. But we did not see it on the. Okay, and yeah, we have to fall in. Oh my god. Yeah, so it has like a cooldown. I think you can like do like a couple of hits. And then it has to charge up again. And then when the effect is ready. Okay, we got we can go again. Can it go through shields? No, it can't. Oh! What? What is this freaking effect? I love how you have to... I, I never saw this effect. Did I change the perk? Since when can you grab that and get this sort of weird effect? What happened? Well, it's a long, uh, a lot of content. Super OP. Okay, I feel forced to do the, the tube now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's worth it, man. What the heck, dude? Can you make a rune from the ability? Sadly not. That's kind of the, the down part. Uh, the sad part of this. Yeah, the effect is new. So maybe it has to do with the weapon. That you can like recharge the effect or something. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can like fight the Salad. Oh no. Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. But see, I have this weird effect. It seems that maybe it's like a combination of the two. I think that's it. And it's kind of... Because it's like constantly... And I'm curious, like, what if I, like, unequip the weapon? If I, like, say, okay, let's only do the sickle. Oh, the effect is... No, the effect is gone. So it's really a combination, it seems. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna, like, do it like this. Let's see if I get hit. And then... Yo. Let's see if I get hit. 
see, I cannot grab it. It's a combination of the sword and the, the ability. That's cool. So there's like a hidden thing because it's not on the freaking weapon and also not on the uh, on the armor. Oh man, there we go again. Why would I? Okay, so there there is sometimes it for some reason it doesn't like hit, which kind of kind of strange. So what what is the effect? Oh, I don't know what's happening. I have to like kind of test this more, but it's insane. <laughs> Uh, okay, so w what happened to the idea that we can keep the hood on permanently? Th there's, I don't know, uh, like they said they were looking into it. We don't know if it's happening though. I think it's a healing effect. Okay, that makes sense. Damn, it looks OP. Wow. Like, and, and this is why, like, the, the rune forge is, it's, it's just really sad that we don't have the... Okay, so let's see if it's like a healing effect. That we cannot, like, extract abilities from this sword. Like, you want this on every freaking weapon. So, okay. It's like a faster healing effect, then. Ha! Boom! Bomb! In your face! <laughs> okay, let's try it again. It's like there for quite a long time. Okay, so now I don't have the Eden's heart. Yeah, it seems like a heal. It seems like a heal. Whoa! What the heck? Oh! <laughs> if you're used to someone on a horse. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think I streamed for too long. Okay. Okay, there we go. What? He died as well. There are so many things. It, like, it seems that I can, like, trigger... The, it's like a bomb. I think it's a bomb or something. Fifek, you're asking, is the Tombs of the Fallen part 2 worth it? And I'm rocking the weapon. It's the Loki explosion effect. I freaking instantly killed the Salad. Okay, one more time. They hit me. Cause it seems like a bomb. Oh, why, why is he missing me? Come on. Okay, uh, you got fire strike. Why are you missing me? Okay, there we go. So it seems kind of like, what if? Yeah, so it's gone after some time. Okay, there we go again. It seems like a bomb as well, like use. Yeah, I don't know. I have to test this more, but it's it's kind of crazy. I'm doing also way more damage. What the heck? The 452? Yeah, 
it's like an insane damage buff. Okay. 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 That's kind of crazy. Uh. Okay. Uh. Not complaining. No. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh. Thanks for watching. And I actually gotta eat something. It's kind of late. It's like 8 p.m. here. I started at 4 p.m. So it's a really long stream. But I'm glad everyone could help me out. We could see, uh, yeah, we see the ants, get the amazing weapon, and uh, yeah, look forward to some awesome videos, and hopefully, and probably more streams. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good one, time, and thanks as always.